Thanks. Give it a minute to, to kick in because I want to see how that plugin works or if it works. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what I have to do to. Well, I don't know. Can vanilla be here yet? Oh. My warrior is almost level thirteen. Matt, can I play your beta just to play it for a minute? Someday. Oh, betas. I would be totally okay with. That. I would totally oh. not be okay with it because it's mine. Sorry, Will. Okay. <laughs> Anything. Yeah, that's it. Do I? Did I do? So, I Don't clearly be surprised if there's well. a big do you have to poop in the glove thing? box of the Camry when I sold. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have to maybe turn it on after it's installed. Oh, fucking no. Enable it. Is it maybe something in Streamlabs? Editor. Or is it enabling a, an extension is a three step process, including installation? Okay, so installing, then configuring, which I did. I did the config, I went all through all the stuff and saved it. Activating, a activate your extensions in the extensions menu from the My Extensions tab. It won't it show on your channel until activated. To activate an extension, will need to be on the My Extensions tab in the manage. Uh, do I need to go to the web page to do that, or can I do that from Streamlabs, or uh, from OBS? I, you, I don't know. This is all talking about the web page. Let me, uh, that's what I was wondering. Let me look here from the web page. Does it say where you go to manage extensions? Like, settings, maybe? It says there's a tab. Uh, Everything's always a little think. confusing with JJ Twitch. You need to be on the yeah. My Extensions tab on the Extensions Manager page. <laughs> that makes so much sense to me. Right. Um, oh, here, hold on. Dashboard Extensions. My Extensions. Set is overlay one. The DND is now active on slot one. Mm. It just popped up and it looks awesome. Seriously? Yeah. Now, I don't know if you want it. I, I kind of like it always up, but maybe you do want to have it hide because it uses a 10% of your screen. But I can cl now I can Why click can't... on like Al Alaric and I get like a pop-up that shows his strength and armor class and everything. Oh, it doesn't, wow. It doesn't show me like, that from... Current hit points even. So you guys gotta keep your nice. hit points up to date so that like on the stream we'll be able to see it all the time, you know? Let me see. It's stupid. I can't see it from uh Oh, that's cool. Um I don't... It looks like the, it uh, looks like it, no, you it, it looks like you can I could modify the screen like my window here and move it over if we wanted to leave it open all the time. Yeah, but it, and it also looks like uh a, a viewer can turn it off if there's a little lock on the bottom. Oh, you can, un, you can unpin it. So yours is just the default, and then whoever's watching it can. Well, then I'll leave it that way. So you, somebody should try it from uh, mobile. I'm curious how it works or if it works. I don't think I don't think it does. Or uh, yeah, it didn't before. Yeah, and I, you're right. I don't think those plugins work for <laughs> mobile usually. Okay, sweet. That'll work. Let me uh, let me get the chat window open. I'm good to go whenever you are. So. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Maybe hey, a nice ad for KFC on your stream. Thanks, man. That's what I'm here for. Oh, thank. That's what make me thank the colonel. <laughs> yeah, that plugin's really cool. Okay, sweet. Cool. Um. All right. So we're we're good, right? Yeah, should be good. Sitting on the the the. Uh, splash screen or whatever mm -hmm. all right okay so uh all right let's start with a recap as usual i'm trying to get to this all right so let's see last time i'll take us so i'll take us back to where we're at so we can get a visual on this um oh dude that overlay is sweet oh sorry great. yeah i dig that hey welcome to five minutes ago punch <laughs> uh so now we're doing the recap <laughs> 
Alright. So, uh, last time, um, we started in this sort of, like, this middle area. We're in this big crevasse, this, like, natural sort of split in the middle of this cavernous cellar area that we're traversing through, uh, where you <laughs> defeated the Nothic, the weird eye creature. Um, and then Spargo kind of took interest to this really particularly cool sword that was called Talon. Ended up being a long sword plus one. It was owned by the great warrior uh, owner, original Lord of the Manor. Um, and Thoradin took that, and I believe equipped it. Um, so, in like to speed things up and kind of get everybody back out of the pit. Uh, all right, we're going to see you later. Well, uh, have, fun, have fun being a dad. <laughs> D&D was great while it lasted. Oh, good. Thank God that. Thank God that guy's fucking guy's gone. Oh. Thank God that guy came back. Well, <laughs> my Discord just wigged out. All right. And then, um, sort of kind of like speed things up and get everybody out of the pit quickly. Thoradin thought it would be a good idea to like throw Spargle up, but he instead smashed his face into the bottom of the bridge. Uh, <laughs> and then he landed in a pile of garbage next to the rotten corpse of a farmer. Uh, then they went into the storeroom, kind of down this hallway here. You guys went. Dude, and and in this storeroom were uh, four of the red brands hanging out, drinking. They were pretty wasted. Uh, they were playing cards. Uh, so the party kind of took them out pretty quickly. Deckard tried to trick them again and said that he was sent by glass staff, but they they were they didn't fall for that even. Um, but did some like illusion magic and some some other trickery and whatever, and just ended up killing the four of them pretty quickly. Um, then they just, you guys decided to open two doors at the same time for some reason. So Alaric went to the south door and um, uh, Decker went to the north door. Uh, Decker heard some like scraping around in that room. So uh, instead of opening the door, uh, they burned it down because. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Just fuck that door. Just <laughs> um, fuck that door. <laughs> and uh, so. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it caught it on fire, right? And then, and then Thoradin, to finish opening the door, picked up the piss-soaked body of the red brand that he had just peed all over, and then used that as a battering <laughs> ram to open the door. And that's how we got in the room. Can uh, you guys instead. hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Sorry, making sure my shit's. Instead of just opening the door, um, so it was like a big alchemist lab, um, and Spargle was like very observant that he figured out right away that this was somebody trying to create invisibility potions. Uh, he, he got some free ingredients out of the room. Uh, There's this big fat rat in the room that was kind of like checking out the group, and Spargle communed with it and kind of befriended him and fed him, um, put him on his shoulder, uh, and the rat. You know, followed them around and watched every single thing they did and heard and everything thanks to Spargle. And then Thoradin charged the door to the east of the lab again instead of trying to open it, um, but he like kind of totally whiffed and just headbutted it really hard, uh, which made a bunch of commotion. <laughs> uh, and then Deckard kind of reached over and just kind of turned the, the doorknob mm -hmm. and just opened the door. And Thoradin just kind of gave him a look. Um, Inside was a big, uh, so that's up here, was a big furnished, fancy sort of bed chamber. Uh, there was a big chest full of loot, which Deckard snatched up very quickly. Um, I split the gold with everybody. Okay. And, yeah, I think you sent that to everybody, right? Mm-hmm. And then um, Thoradin, actually, as they were leaving the room, this happened a little bit afterwards, but uh, kind of tossed the bed, and a, um, a letter popped out. Um... Which was addressed was kind of stamped by the black spider, um, and was addressed to Iarno, who we now know is a, is the glass staff. Um, but no Iarno in the room, and and uh, nothing else other than his valuables and stuff. But um, just to you know be ready for other things, uh, Thoradin made a ghost costume out of one of the red sheets, <laughs> and put it on. Um, started, <laughs> uh, and then at one point Spargle was saying something to Alaric and he started laughing like really loud and then we heard this bu a bunch of commotion <laughs> uh, and a door kind of burst open and the party rushed down and there were some bugbears coming out of the room down there um, and they took out the bugbears pretty good fight 
Um, and there's this little scrawny goblin in the room. Uh, it looked like, I mean, scrawny like a Harry Potter house elf kind of goblin, you know, or a golem mm -hmm. kind of goblin. A little, yeah. Uh, every time he saw somebody new, whether it was a, the big hulking Alaric or even little Spargo, he'd pass out. Uh, but Thornton kept bringing him, kept reviving him, gave him a potion. And eventually, Lark didn't want anything to do with the goblin, and Deckard was a little turned off too. So they, they kind of stepped out of the room. <clears throat> um, Thornton talked to the goblin a little bit. He called himself Mosk originally, but um, later you guys learned that his real name is Droop. Um, but he said he was a slave of the bugbears. Um, he kept fainting and all that. Um, and then he said he was taken from Cragmaw Castle. He, he thought that Glassdeff would be in his bedchamber, but he was wrong about that. Um, he, he, but he was the one to call out that the rat on Spargo's shoulder was actually a familiar uh, of Iarno, uh, at which point um, Spargo had um, Stinkbag attack the rat, and it kind of had, uh, but the rat kind of got the better of Stinkbag and sort of had him pinned to the ground, and Thornton wasn't having anything to do with that, so he picked up the rat, and he literally just popped his head with his hands, uh, and, and but immediately after hearing sort of the crunch, uh, it it disappeared entirely, uh, just into thin air. Uh, Thank you for that, Thornton. Aye, aye, Captain. And at that, the you know, and once the kind of rat disappeared, the the goblin droop uh, just he sort of kind of stands up. He's still like trembling and real like sort of uh, shaky and whatnot in front of you guys. Uh, but he addresses Thoradin, uh, who seems to be like the um, most um, friendly to him so far. And he says, um, no, thank you. My name really droop. I, I didn't want Wizard to know my real name or he kill family at Cragmaw. Uh, droop helps you if Droop can leave this bad place. Uh, how do I know you're not lying to me? He like looks at his pockets and he looks at his and he just looks sad and he's like, I have nothing to lie about. I have nothing. Where's, where's, uh, where's Glassstaff? You need to he, show us where Glassstaff is. If you he, want says, to trust he says he should be in, in his room. Where's his room? Uh, he looks at Thornton and he's like, uh, those, those sheets there, uh, look like they came from his room. Uh, weren't you guys, he's, wasn't he there? No. Where is he at? Where could, we, where could he have gone? You help us get him and, and we'll start to trust you. Drew, he looks really confused and he scratches his head. Scratches, he's scratching his head and he, and, he, and, he, and, he, and he looks like, he looks up at you and he has this like, this, this light bulb went off and he said, did he, did he drink, did he drink the potions that he made? Did he drink a potion? Did we find any uh, did, potions, did guys? We, didn't we find used potions? Were we they found used? like a oh, no, like an area where were potions right. were clearly being like made. Right, the lab. No, but like in a bedroom. Mm, we didn't find any vials in the in the bedroom or anything. When you say bedroom, he he looked. He has that same look, and he looks up again, and he said, "Secret door." Did you find a secret door? You're gonna take us to the secret door, lad. And he, Droop looks a little more excited. He goes, I, I take you to the secret door and you let Droop go. But first, we need, yeah. I have some rope here and I'm going to tie one end of this rope to your arm and the other end to mine because you're not going anywhere. He looks really nervous and starts kind of like, like twitching a little bit again. Like he's getting that like shaky, like he can't calm himself down. He's almost like hyperventilating. Uh, but he, he, he puts his arm out. Uh, hey, Deckard, can't you tie a really good knot? Aren't you good with horses, lad? I poke, uh... Deckard pokes his head in. I'm leaving that goblin business to you, Homander. Uh, how about if I give you ten gold pieces? Would you help out? <laughs> I know you like gold. He knows what motivates this guy. <laughs> Deckard uh, just looks at the goblin with disdain. He goes... I'm willing to let this goblin help us, but I'm not going anywhere near him. The gold for you, then. 
Do you, hey Matt, is your mic, which mic? Does Matt can you, sound can far you away? Me? He's just far away from it. Oh, got Sorry. it. Let me, uh... Um. Do you have rope? I do. All right, and I, uh, do you give it to me? What do you, what do you do to... I, I'll, because you're bulk lad, now I'm only giving you five gold. I, I don't need your gold. Okay, oh, matter, I, just, give, just give me the damn rope. <laughs> <laughs> and, rope, uh, man. and I catch it and Deckard, uh, I don't know what, what kind of check would I make to tie some good Survival. slip knots. Really tight. Yeah, really just survival check. Um, one sec. I think it's a 12, but double check. I think it's survival's wisdom, right? Uh, yeah, yes. 12. 12? Mm hmm. Okay. So. Yeah, you, so you, can tie, you can tie a knot. That now yeah. establishes a difficulty check for anyone to ever to escape. Right? So the mm -hmm. higher you avoid a roll, the better the knot mm. to get out of. So, is that a, so I tie like some a, some decent slip knots you can use to strength? put around as whatever you want. Dan, or is that more of like a dexterity type of thing? I would give, uh, to break out, I would give a strength to just try to break out, yeah. right? And that would be a certain DC against for the material. But, yeah. like, if somebody was trying to break out, maybe I would do, like, a sleight of hand um, against the, the difficulty that he established for the knot, if that makes sense. So he hey, did a Spartacle. 12. Any enchantments you could put on this knot so he doesn't break out of it? Hmm... Now, for what you guys see is a knot that was tied slightly better than the average knot that you would see. So it t if he had rolled a 10, that would be like any old knot that you'd seen somebody tie. So you're like, oh, he knows what he's doing. He did a little extra. Gave it a little what extra. about um, uh, like fire or um, like a blade? Like if this goblin just found like a sharp freaking rock on the floor, would he be able to just like, you know? Yep, he might be able to yeah. make an attack against the rope and break through it. All right. All right. So I reach into my bag and I cast Minor Illusion and I pull out a little padlock that has blades on it. <laughs> and I go behind his back. Is it is he tied behind his back? Is that how he is? Uh yeah, let's say that. Let's say that he was tied behind his back. Well, Will did the okay. knot. So Well, Will uh, did the knot, right? Okay. He's the right, so master. It, let's just say Will you tie? Did you tie behind his back? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, I guess. I, 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 <laughs> I, I do. I, I do whatever not uh, requirements have been deemed by the group. <laughs> okay. So I clink it on like right by the knot. This, this, like this, like I know it's just an illusion, but I go behind him and I'm like, I'm like, there, magic lock. If he moves, he dies. And what do you, what's the illusion? It's just, uh, I just made an illusion of a small lock, like with blades on it. <laughs> okay. And then I, I look over at you guys and I give you a wink. Perfect. Now that illusion will only last a minute, you know. Right. <laughs> okay. It's behind his back, right? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Said, okay. No, oh, okay. magic okay. lock. I went okay. behind him and I, yeah, whatever. You don't know. I could dispel it right then. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um... <clears throat> What's your, spe what's, is, your but... spell, what's your spell save, DC? Uh... Sorry, where do I see that? Uh, is that just regular save it DC? It should be 14? under your spells. If you go to your spells tab, there's just, okay. there's just save DC. Maybe like yeah, 14. 14. 14. 14. Okay, mm -hmm. so he's got, so that he has to do an int check against that. He rolled a 13. Ah, dumbass. So, so as as Sparga walks over and he does this thing and creates this like this like Hellraiser looking fucking lockbox thing with blades going around it, you see the goblin like start to get that like real faint look again, like oh, he's no. like he's about to pass out. But 
Thornton notices and kind of puts his arm on his on his shoulder and holds him upright as uh, Spargo goes behind his back and the and the box sort of vanishes. Uh, but the goblin, as far as he knows, that thing is like hovering around his hands if he were to attempt to escape. All right, lead the way, little man. Let's go to the secret door. Okay, so Droop takes you guys, uh, unless anyone wants to do anything otherwise. Is anyone, everyone following the goblin? We didn't look at the room uh, at all, uh, did Alar we? going to follow, like, way in the back. Okay, you can put... So, so Droop goes, unless anybody stops him, he walks over the next couple, over the next minute or so to the, to the right inside of the room <coughs> of uh, the, uh, you know, that bed chamber that you guys were in before. So if you want to, if anyone wants to, everyone wants to follow him, move yourselves right up behind him. If you want to stay back, stay back. I'm just tagging along right behind Thornton. All right. Okay. All right. So many dead Fargo bodies. and Thornton on top of each other? Uh, we're right next to each other. Why am I not seeing Sparkle? I'm left of him. Hmm. Yeah. I'm here. here. I'll go. I'll He's go over there. here. Oh, okay. You good? Everybody good? Yep, I'm good. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, um, and then so Droop kind of looks over his shoulder. Um, kind of tries. He tries to look down at his hands to see if the like crazy. Uh, lock contraption thing is is near him and, and kind of, but he he can't crane his neck quite far enough. Um, but he, then he looks at Thor and he and he and he he's kind of he nudges his head to the northeast and he says, "Secret door." All right, so I move I move to the wall in the corner over here, and I start feeling around for okay some drafts maybe. Feeling around. Uh, can you make an investigation check? Sure. Such a dwarf. Just... Matt, you've got really good stats too. Thank you. Um. You okay. So. Yeah, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. You're, uh, yeah, you're feeling around the walls and everything, and 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 you're feeling the wall again, and, and that's all you're doing, and nothing's <laughs> happening. <laughs> There's no magic little click noise, and 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 Droop is like, uh, he he looks over, he looks over at Spargle. Uh, yeah, he, I walk over there, like, and, and he's like, he's like, you can't, see, I can see it from here. Can I can I take a look? Go ahead. I, I think this. Yeah. Lion. Yep. Go ahead. Roll an investigation check. I think he's a lion bastard. I, I think he's lying. Oh, I didn't do my ad. Um, sorry. Uh, investigation. It's a plus six to that, so fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. So Spargo comes over and he's like, hey, "Thorin, what you looking at there?" And and then he just you see him kind of look in the very middle of the wall. And then as his finger goes towards this, what Thornton is kind of watching his finger go as a blank wall. And then he looks up and realizes there's about a silver dollar sized, very bright button in the middle of the wall, uh, which Sparkle then just kind of like looking at Thornton and just kind Such of presses the button. Ass. I'm so stupid. <clears throat> um, and then this uh, <coughs> right here slides open. Ooh. So we hear it, but we don't really see it. Oh, I'm sorry. So does no, there's there's three doors that open right now. You ready? Okay. Yeah. This. So so you hear you hear a sort of a, a, a click. When that button gets pressed, you hear this click way off to this side. Okay? Okay. Um, but then this door kind of grates open and slides. Uh ajar. Uh, so I give Droop a big, hearty pat on the back, and I say, Hey, Goblin, I guess we can trust you a little bit. Now lead the way. And he looks up and he says, But, but, oh, I showed you the secret door, Droop, go uh, home. Now you go down. 
Oh, Droop doesn't like this deal. Droop, go home now. Secret Droop, door. Droop, don't go home now. Droop, go down. He kind of looks knowingly kind of like the situation he's in, and he follows you guys. So this, this uh, leads to sort of a narrow staircase. That heads back down, and kind of now you're you're starting to kind of figure out your positioning here. That's back to the uh, storeroom that uh, you guys had found all those like um, pelts in and stuff. That when you, after you fought the Nothic. Mm -hmm. mm hmm But we find ourselves. But that right there is like where we heard the click, and we see a door there. You're saying? Yeah. So in the corner of that room that you never noticed the first time you were in, and only Thoradin went in the first time and kind of rummaged around all the barrels, and that's when he found the pelts. Now you notice that in the corner of that room, the wall is a, is also a jar. It's, it's like there's a big gap there. Oh, it's can we there. see there from over over here? Like, we can oh, see I that? Assume, no, I'm, I assumed you guys moved into this storeroom. Oh, so oh. We, can go, we can go back and forth between those two rooms? Yeah. What, do you not see the... Do you guys see, the like, the staircase? It looks like we can't get see the staircase. There. Yeah, so it's a, it's a door that opened with the button on it and a staircase down, and then now this is wide open. Oh, oh got okay. it. Oh, it looks like a solid and partition. I, okay. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's some things that I see. Um, yeah, so like next this. to the bed, it's a solid partition uh, perpendicular to that wall. Yeah, my bad. Parallel to that is another wall. Right, right, right. So this is a secret door that opened. This is uh... a secret door that opened. And this is what you heard click. Oh, okay, cool. And you guys can all move yourselves into um, this room because I assumed that once this door opened, you guys went up. You went down the steps. So this and... stairway goes up to this room. Okay, cool. Oh, I get it. So yeah, we're going up. It's going down. Got it. It's going upstairs. Oh, mm -hmm. I get so it. So I follow. I go over here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't explain that well enough. I was relying on the map too much. Oh, what are learning, yeah. lad? It's okay. So, so yeah, there was a. What this was is in this storeroom. There's two secret doors. There's one that kind of goes down <clears> to <throat> the the bed chamber and the lab that you guys just came from. So that was some, that's a staircase down. And then now that you're in this room, there's this uh, in the northeast corner. There's this the wall. It's just a solid wall is now open by about you know twenty degrees. All right, Drew. Get in there, buddy. I can't get the answer to that on Apple Watch. Excuse me, Drew. I actually, I go check out the door. I push okay. it open, and it pushes right open. And I think I uncovered. The, I hope I uncovered this here. Um, I see a door this. here and a door here. Yeah. Yep. Right. Uh, that's right. Uh, let me tell. Uh, there's something about the door. Let me see. Uh... Oh. Yeah. Yep. You see, so when you kind of push open that like uh, cement or that you know, whatever cement door. Yep. Um, you you're look that stone door. You're looking right in front of another wooden door, like the standard door that's that you've seen throughout this place. So it's like a constructed wooden door with a handle and everything. I go and then, in, uh... and, and then to the south of you, um, you also see a, a this similar type of door. Got it. I go put my uh, <clears throat> ear up to this door quietly. Okay. Uh, do first do a stealth check. And do you get any disadvantage? Wow, you got to roll the twenty. Yeah, twenty six. Seems good. Yeah, that's really. Good. <laughs> um, that's that's gonna be a good one. Uh, so yeah, um, you uh, walk up to the door, and then do you want to? Are you listening to the door? Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll a perception check. Um, thirteen. Okay. You don't oh. hear anything. Dead silence inside. Can I try and slowly crack the door open? Mm -hmm. um, as you try to do that, the door is locked. Hmm. I come back out and I say, uh, a, uh, Thornton, uh, 
bash your fucking head into the door. Hopeman, are you, you want to go try and bash your head on this door here and open it up? This one's locked. Uh, my head hurts a little bit, but I could recommend setting it on fire. No, oh, I like that. I like that. Where, where's that? I may have a concussion. Is... <laughs> uh, Fargo, you, you want to burn something? <laughs> At that, my, you know, I ears kind of perk up and I hop right on over and I assess the door here and I will actually uh, is this uh, you said it's just a wooden door Dan um, it is uh, it, they're wooden doors with iron handles hinges and built in locks could smash them but... okay does it look like it's going to be a like uh, you know my, with the assessment, if I shoot a firebolt at it, do I have an idea of how readily this thing will? Um, you uh, think that uh, you could ignite it with a good firebolt, but it would take it the, the thickness and just density of the door. It would take it a while for it to burn through enough that you could just okay that it would burn down. You know, it might be I'm gonna do... half hours worth of burning. So I go, I'll go, uh, I go uh, water trick. And I uh, I walk over and I open up my water canteen and I do shape of water and I direct it into the lock and turn it to ice. So with shape of water, I can move within uh, water. I can control it up to five feet in any direction. And then I can kind of like move it and control it. And then I can instantly freeze the water provided there are no creatures in it. Okay. All right. So, so I try to bust the lock, basically. Gotcha. All right. So um, you walk up, and uh, it's a uh, let's see, it's a somatic. So it's just a it's just a verbal or no, it's just a hand gesture. So you didn't, mm -hmm. you didn't need to say that, but you 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 say your thing, and and you guys see the water sort of wind like a spindling sort of serpent and goes into the lock and just sort of fills it up, and then it oozes on the outside and then freezes solid. And you guys notice that the lock on this door now is just a solid chunk of kind of frozen iron. This is the water. Uh, this is uh, the well. So I should I go smash it now? What would you like to do? I, I think you should just do that before any like we even have a chance to discuss it. I think it's a great <laughs> idea. I do that and then my head hurts. So <laughs> I, want, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Uh, you don't have a smashing stick? <laughs> I have a big, big old wall hammer I could use to smash it. Uh, you, you like doing that? Why don't you just go? <laughs> <laughs> you like doing that? Just do it. Uh, all right, you don't gotta <laughs> twist my leg. And move out of the way for you. All right, here we go. Uh, was he, as he's doing this, Deckard kind of moves it's this door here, Matt. Oh. <laughs> Matt's like, I did it. I'm already there. I, it had happened. Yeah. Thorin, uh, Deckard kind of peeks his head and goes, uh, hey, uh, hope better. <laughs> this, this one, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Um, all How right, close so to that other door did you get, though? Uh, I was. I was right here. I was ready to I was ready to go. I was excited. <laughs> oh, did I? Did I? Did I fuck up? Did I? Did I <laughs> aggro some mobs? I definitely did. Uh, Roll a stealth check with disadvantage. Yeah, that's what he's gonna say. He's gonna <laughs> say. Dexterity you you save. woke up the the red dragon they had buried in this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a baby red dragon. All right. Go. All right. Um. Yeah, roll a stealth check. Oh. <laughs> yes. Got a dick. I knew it. <laughs> there oh, you nice. go. Mm. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. Nice roll. So, uh, so Gordon goes, let me at it, boys. And he starts running, <laughs> and then everybody sees him go, like, 
a hard right. Like, <laughs> right all the way down the hallway. And Deckard's like, whoa, boy, hey, hey, boy, get back over here. <laughs> and and, and, and Thornton, like, kind of like his, his legs don't stop moving the same sort of speed, like a little cartoon dwarf. But he spins, like, 180 degrees and runs back down the hallway and then slams into the door that uh, Spargle just froze. Uh, so go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, or, I'm sorry, a strength, a strength check. A strength check, okay. And he puts his helmet down right on where that frozen lock is, and just as the hel- t- tip of the helmet hits the lock, it shatters into just a, a bunch of, like, iron and, and ice all kind of chunked together into the ground. And the door goes slamming open and bangs against the back wall. Uh, and now you guys are in that room. And uh, so Thoradin uh, is kind of like, you know, runs straight through the door and into the room. <laughs> My favorite part. <laughs> Concussion protocol. That's uh, oh my gosh so um yeah all right so you burst into the room and what you see is this is an armory so it, there's racks of weapons aligning the walls they're actually kind of like organized a little bit there's spears swords crossbows and bolts uh and then there's a dozen dirty red cloaks hanging from hooks all around. <laughs> give me all the cloaks uh, i want to be one of the red brands <laughs> <laughs> So you can grab a cloak, you can grab any of these things. Uh, There are 12 spears, 6 short swords, 4 long swords, 6 light crossbows, and 8 quivers full of crossbow bolts. So for one, anybody that uses crossbows, if we have one of those guys in the group... You're set uh, for life. I mean, assume you replenish here. Okay. Uh, Hey, Deckard walks up and starts... uh, inspecting the bolts and you see him like inspecting them and every now and then throwing one away because it's not good enough <laughs> and he takes the good ones um i'm looking for a weapon for sildar what is Sildar like uh, he seems like a spear guy sildar is good now he's been back in contact with the lord's alliance he's back to i mean he's got his he's got his uh, you know official Standard issued equipment now and stuff. So he's. I'd still like to give him something as like a little, uh, a little gift. Is Droop um, still with us? Droop is uh, <laughs> basically uh, a foot yeah, away a from. Uh, yeah, he's like always next to Thoradin. Oh yeah. So I, I don't know how that whole bash. Yeah, is. Can you uh, retcon that, please? Yeah. So that? yeah, I guess to kind of fill that in. Also, while all that shit was happening, poor little Droop was just trying to keep up. He was afraid, he was afraid that the magical Hellraiser box was going to cut his hands off. And this crazy dwarf's running up and down the hall. And he's, he's just, for the life of his hands, just trying to stay within 10 feet of you. The so Hellraiser hand... box. <laughs> this is pretty good. And so that all happened. And Droop is now ready to faint again. Okay. <laughs> He really hates you guys. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> Guy. Um, yeah, so any, do you want to take anything from this room? I'd like something for Sildar. Just as a nice little gift. Does, does any of it look like a value, or is it all pretty mundane? Uh, it's, all, it's all good equipment. Like, none of it's like... Uh, it's all mundane. Though. Any greens or yeah, blues yeah. or purples or... Yeah, no, yeah. No, nothing, nothing that needs identified. Legendary. All right. No, all right. Spear of... But you know that those things individually can be worth some money. Oh, money, you say? Oh, I have a friend. If you're he willing likes, to, like, fuck yourselves money. up with a bunch of garbage. He likes gold and money. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna take more red brand cloaks, uh, Deckard? And try and <laughs> I just collect. I'm collecting all the cloaks for the third time. You're gonna try and pass this around. <laughs> I'm really not good at it, am I? <laughs> Have you done that multiple times? I, th- I, think, I think Will think has an obsession with these cloaks because, like, in the back of his mind, he hasn't even realized it that he's he's like assuming that this is a Defias thing. 
<laughs> exactly. Yes. He's like, holy shit. That's it feels if like. I get enough cloaks, I get to fight Fan Cleef. <laughs> the first time was the best. He's like, yeah, I fought in the fucking arena. <laughs> 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 Yep. Yeah, but, yeah, they put us in a pit, no, they kill the, the guys. Right. <laughs> like, what is he talking about? There was no pit, dude. It was just some dude that said I had to do this. No pit. Uh, I bought it. I was like, shit, maybe he is a red brand. <laughs> I'm the DM, and I was like, flipping through the book. I'm like, they didn't tell me about the pit. What's happening there? Uh, oh god. Uh, Alright, well I'm gonna take uh, a nice spear for Sildar. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright. So you grab the, the nicest of the spears that you see in there, the one that seems like least used and banged up, and uh, you can add a spear to your inventory. Cool. Alright. Anything else you guys want to do in this room? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Is that, is that I give it a once-over. It's just the weapons, right? It's just the weapons as far as you guys can see. Well, well I, um, I load back up on crossbow bolts. Okay. All right. Where to? What would you guys like to do now? Uh, so we explored this whole room. Yep. Any secret uh, buttons or passages? Make an investigation check. All right. <clears throat> Thirteen. Um, you start moving some shelves away and boxes around, and you're kind of feeling along the walls. You're looking for big, bright, obvious buttons like the one you missed earlier. Um, and uh, you don't notice anything. Like the one we missed earlier. Oh, that's so I good. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. All right, well, I'm going to leave the room with Droop right next to me. Droop, let's go. Come on. Use it or lose it. Let's go, lad. You want to check out this other door? Yeah, I go, uh... Fargo, you checking it out? Yeah, I'll check it out. I can check out. I'll, I'll take a look at that door, Dan. Um, okay, make a stealth check. Check. I'm bashing my head in this fucking wall again. I am not stealthy. Not stealthy at all. You get a bonus to stealth, okay. though. I mean, that's that's a little stealthier yeah. than some of us. As so, long as I don't scroll like a shithead. So Sparkle kind of like kind of trots up to the door, and he, you know, as he's trying to like sneak up to it, and he goes to put his ear up to it, and you, the door just suddenly flings open, and you hear this this crazy snarling. <laughs> You know, this kind of just like ongoing, like Walking Dead sort of, uh, you know, uh, Battle of Winterfell kind of undead screeching uh, as the door rips open and this skeletal, uh, uh, you know, very, no, very skeletal, no flesh and bone, just, just bone uh, comes snarling out and uh, attacks you. Uh, everybody shit. roll initiative. And uh, Spargle, what? you have the, you guys have the surprise condition. Uh. Oh, I don't know what just happened, but I like it. Give me all the undead. That's cool shit. Alright, so initiative. Ugh. Deckard. I don't know, 21. Yeah. All right, Deckard. And then uh, Sparkle. And then where's Larrick? Nine. No, where are you? Uh, where's your token? <laughs> lost uh, you. I'm, I'm right here. Oh, there you go. Thorin and Drew. Now no, stop moving it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm trying to. All right, everybody. All right, cool. All right, so um, Deckard, you see down the hallway um, as Spargo was like kind of like 
cruising by you and like going towards that other door, you saw that happen. The door just kind of rip open and then this just crazy like frenzy of this this creature with this just skeleton face start clawing at Spargle. Got it. So I see this basically this guy. So yeah. I, I I poke my head around this this door here. And kind of raise an eyebrow and what in the Sam Hill is this <laughs> thing doing? And I step out and uh I kind of I flick it kind of flip a dagger up into my hand and I whip it at the uh at this guy. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to give him a little bit of an AC bonus cuz he's in cuz you're throwing over an ally, right? So okay. he's considered to have some bit of cover. Mm -hmm. Now, Sparkle's small, so I'm going to have what the 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 AC advantage would have been for him just just so you know. Okay. I like to kind of talk some of these things out loud just so people know what I'm doing. Uh, so, so go ahead and, and make uh, your attack roll. Uh, Ouch. Mm. Um, yeah, so you, you, uh, you, you've, you've come flying out around the corner and you kind of whip the dagger and it, it just, uh, it's, it goes real wide right and just skims along the, the wall and clatters to the ground right behind Spargle. Lace is out. Got it. Well, I, uh, <laughs> the little footballs. Flip my crossbow up and fire one off. Hmm. Fire off a bolt. That's what she said. Seventeen. Right. Like, so you have like one, plus a thousand to hit. Holy shit! So you pull out this this hand crossbow and fire this thing off, and that one goes sailing right, you know, perfectly one foot over Spargle's head and directly uh, into the sort of sternum. Uh, bone of this skeleton thing. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Can't have sex with bones. Hey, ten damage. <laughs> ten I like damage. it. Try. Right. Right. It's a bad idea. And yeah, so the the bolt goes straight through that front, and like rib, part, half of his rib cage falls off, and a bunch Ooh. of bone bone splinters just kind of fall out as it try, sort of collects itself uh, to stay upright um, and continue its assault of um, Sparkle. Anything else? Uh, um. Yeah. Can I? Uh, so I guess I used my actions, but can I? Is there any way for me to get in here? Uh, movement wise. Yeah. Um, Hold on one second. Yeah, you can move through that uh, skeleton. So you can move through uh, Spargle and the skeleton. It's difficult terrain to move through the skeleton, but you're close enough that you're just going 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 to get to the other side of him. Is that what you're trying yeah, to I do? Yeah, I just kind of want to go right there. Yep, that, that costs you 25 movement, but you can end there. Okay. All right. Uh, this skeleton here that kind of busted through the door and sees Spargle in front of him uh, attacks Spargle. Hold on one second. I lost my sheet for the guy. Okay. Um, and he, it has a uh, it has a short sword, um, so it's it's basically swinging the short sword at Spargle. Uh, Twenty three to hit. That hits. Okay, so this is going to do piercing damage, seven. Um, so this thing, like, you know, even though Decker just kind of whips right by it, hit it in the chest, uh, and then runs right by him, uh, he, he still, he bring, finally brings his sword down and gets a, gets a pretty lucky hit across Spargle's, uh, right across his, like, neck and upper chest here, and uh, you see some blood spurt out, uh, Decker, uh, and Spargle looks like he got hit pretty good. Ow! <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Um, okay and sparkle it's your turn um okay so i'm gonna wiggle to the other side of him and uh, <coughs> but then i'm going to attack him the one that hit me With what? uh i'm gonna do a is, is he look like he's in pretty good shape or pretty bad shape or not? 
That crossbow uh, bolt. That, that crossbow bolt um, ripped clean through and blew a like, big part of his upper chest apart. So he's got about half of his bone capacity left. Let's call it that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a, a, a fire bolt. A fire bolt at him? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, um, is that an Oberon? No, this is this, uh, uh, it's a lager, which I'm really into right now. And there's this place called the Brew Kettle out in Strongsville where, uh, you know where, where it is there, Punch. Yeah. We have one in Hudson. Um, it's a, oh yeah, there's one down there too. Yeah, it's a great lager. Um, that was your to hit? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you hit this thing right in the face. What, <laughs> what's the name of the lager? Uh, it's called a Major Lager, and it's like one of their brew kettles, whatever, whatever. So, um, I've never tried that one. We're digging it a lot. Yeah, Sean likes it. I'll have to blow that out for the stream. I like it. Yeah, right. yeah, like oh, yeah. Unless that's we're getting sponsorship for this. Sorry. Hey, what's that website where Doug gets his ridiculous dice from? Uh, Wherewood? Uh, right? Uh, uh, no, no. Not for the dice. Level Wormwood's up. where he gets all the other stuff. Alexa, I think it's called Level Up Dice. I don't know if I'm boring you and you need to go dice shopping right now. but No, I just saw something on. <laughs> I don't know if I'm boring you. You are boring me. I'm going to grab a beer. Right I, I, honestly, this is how my mind works. I hear you rolling your dice. And then I'm like, oh, maybe I should get some new dice. And then my mind wanders and I'm like, oh, maybe I should get those obsidian ones. And then it's just the way my dumb brain works. You mean Dragon Class? So I, uh, I I shoot the Scorching Ray. Um, he said I hit him in the face, and I, I just go, I go, feel the burn! Did you roll a 10? Yeah. God damn, dude, nice. That was exactly how many hit points he had left. Did so, you say uh, feel the burn because nice. he looks like Bernie Sanders because he's a ghoul? Like, oh. <laughs> don't use fireballs on me. <laughs> good, thing, good thing Blackwind's in a coma right now. <laughs> Too soon. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, should I wait for Adam to get back? I don't know if he can hear me. Nah, he's fine. You're a good brother. You're a good brother. Hey, what are you guys gonna do when my dwarf kills himself with a shotgun overnight because he's got he's got suicidal tendencies because of CTE? What are you guys gonna do about that? <laughs> and he says, I want to donate my brain to like. The halls of justice to <laughs> kind of investigate head trauma. It does explain something with you carrying around the hand and all that. Yeah, well, yeah, you do have some serious head trauma. Established my golf. Yeah, well, there's some stuff in my backstory, some head trauma. <laughs> no, we lost all the Listerias now. I'm here. All right, somebody call Timmy. Timmy, if you're watching, we need you. I'm always here. I'm just fucking around in my office. Or grabbing a beer or something, but I can always. I hope get Adam's it. okay. What do you do? I don't know. Let me call him. No, I mean, did he just like get up and go, or did he say? Did he say something? Hey, yeah. What's up? There he is. Oh, play, play play with that. My fucking wife and kid just walked in the door. I was just saying hi and taking a pee. So yeah, you could hear us. <laughs> yeah, I could hear oh, you. you. Can yep. All right. All right. Well, now we lost punch. All right. Hey, Will, you want to do something? <laughs> you wanna, you wanna Wait you like 30 go? seconds, second. Will, and then yeah, can you yeah, leave for like that. three minutes? <laughs> well, I do have something I have I to go do, it. but I was going to wait until we did a break. Yeah, yeah. I'd say after this room, we'll take a 10 minute break. All right, so um, Deckard shoots this one in the chest, zips right by it. Spargle uh, previously was standing here still. Um, or did you move into the room and then do that? Yeah, I moved in and then I shot him. Okay, so Spargle kind of also kind of rolls behind this skeleton and gets closer to Deckard, almost looking for a little bit of protection from this larger uh, teammate. Um, but then... Can't, it, 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 uh, whatever, casts or, or verbalizes this sort of incantation for the uh, firebolt, 
and you see this blast of uh, this energy of, of energy sort of ray, a, a flaming ray of fire uh, and- hit the skeleton. And it, it literally, it just kind of explodes. Uh, just from the force of the firebolt, uh, it just causes the rest of the bones to just sort of separate from each other and fall in a pile. So me wiggling in there probably was that like difficult terrain going through that thing. Was that correct? That's right. So, so you, went, you went 5, 10, 15 feet so far. All right. So can I use the rest of my movement still after my... Yeah, I get yep. 10 more feet here. You can split it up, yep. Okay. Is diagonal um, five feet, or does it have to be a just up, down, left, right? You can actually go diagonal, okay. and that counts as five feet. Yep. But if I moved, I'm not going to move it here, but if I went here, and then I moved one more, I'm actually going to invoke from Correct. this guy, right? That's right. All right. And those All other right. two I- skeletons, the one was right at the door, it seemed to sort of burst out of that, perhaps that coffin that's right below it. Um, yeah. The other two are just sort of like right standing over their <laughs> coffin things. All right, I'm. I'll just stay where I'm at then. Okay. Um, and also, now that a few of you are in the room, uh, you see three large stone sarcophagi uh, that stand within this dusty crypt, and propped up against each sarcophagus, minus the one you just killed, is a human skeleton clad in bits of rusty mail. Uh, false columns along the walls are carved in the image of spreading oak trees. Uh, the double doors in the southeast corner are sheathed in a, a tarnished copper plate. It's almost blue. It's like an old penny. You know, that's just like you barely see any of the actual bronze. Oh, like the Statue of Liberty. But there you go. Thank you. All right. Anything else, Sparkle? Did you want to move? Or are you good where you're at? You should move as far away as you can. Well, yeah, but I'll be, I don't want to block you guys from... I, I mean, we could probably squeeze in, right, Dan? Yeah, I'm sure we can. I mean, I'm a little fat, but I'm short. Like, so if I'm here, are they going to have any troubles getting through? Matt, you're going to lose a little bit of movement speed. Because of Droop. Because you're dragging Droop around. So you actually, unless you're going to do something that could potentially harm Droop... Uh, you're going to move at his movement speed, which isn't great. Um, I know yours isn't. Shit. Um, yeah, so you get about 20 feet of movement. That's what you're Carrier situations. All right, that's fine. I'm going to use him as a tank. Human shield. He doesn't know it yet. <laughs> All right, you moving? Uh... Go ahead. No, you think, want to move? I think it's uh, it's still Spargo's turn if he wants. Oh no, I think he's done. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you were going. All right. Um, at that moment, this skeleton that was that's uh, right here, uh, <coughs> he kind of he barrels over uh, this way and attacks Spargo, the the less threatening looking target. Eleven to hit? No. Okay. Um, so he claws, he climbs out and sort of clamors towards Spargle and uh, swings this little rusty, really rusty, ancient-looking short sword and uh, just completely whiffs. Um, then the skeleton just below him also comes running out at Spargle uh, with this, but he tries to drive the short sword through uh, through uh, Spargle's back as he's not. Um, paying attention because of the other one. Uh, 16 to hit. That hits. Deckard's uh, there. He's like, damn it, Spargo, I came in this room so they wouldn't attack you. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> three, <laughs> three damage. <coughs> and then Alaric, it's your turn. Uh-oh. <clears throat> These are five the per heck? square, right? Where? Why can't I find you now on here? Where I'm, I'm right here above you? Drip. Oh, okay. Yeah, you were on a thing for me. There you go. Yeah, they're five square, so you can go. You 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 can go pretty much unimpeded until you hit that one. Uh, no, even that skeleton on that skeleton on the ground won't impede you at all. Okay, so the pretty much. So you you get your full movement. 
So I guess what I'll do is I'm going to move to where I'm at. And, um... This one here, if I try to hit it with a ranged attack from where I'm at, is that going to be okay, or how do you envision that? I'm going to give him a little bit of cover because uh, you got teammates in the way and a coffin and stuff. So you're kind of, if you're, you're throwing over or through something, he'll get a little bon AC bonus. Okay. Uh, I'm going to chuck a javelin at him. Okay. Go ahead and roll that up. Uh... Ugh. Ten. All right, uh, yeah, you because of, you know, you just kind of dart in the room and you're just trying to get your bearings of all the action and what's going on and you fire this javelin real quick, but you're kind of trying to be careful to not hit Spargle and you overcompensate and it goes flying uh, into the southeast corner of the room. Can you do anything else? Nope, that's it for me. Okay, Thoradin, it's your turn. Just moving there. The troop. All right. So uh, behind you guys, you hear Thoradin kind of scuffling along and Droop going, Oh, no, don't go in there. Those are the scary creatures. <laughs> I wish we would have thought of asking him what's in there. You don't know shit. Yeah, you might not. All right, Decker, it's your turn. All right. So... I'm gonna step up over here. Throw my crossbow out. How many weapons do I have? I think I have daggers. Oh no! I thought I picked up more daggers. Yeah, I have two. Uh, no. Do I? No, I have one. So I draw my short sword because I threw my dagger and it's laying on the ground somewhere. And uh, spin it around and strike this guy coming down towards his like the top of his shoulder, like I'm chopping Beric Dundarian in half. Oh, <laughs> spoiler alert! Um, the Lord of Light. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite, one of the best things you've posted in uh, Slack, Dan, was when you put Thoros and Der and Beric. For me and Thorin, uh, yeah, Thorin, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome, right? Is it spot it on? It's perfect. Right? <laughs> I kept bringing you back from then. It's <laughs> true. Which one of you guys didn't? One of you guys uh, also post like it's five minutes straight of the hound cursing out other people. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's great. It's awesome. Uh, Twenty-two to hit with my short sword. That's a solid hit. So your short sword goes right through a bunch of bones and and uh, rib cage stuff, and you see splintering bones. Can't even have sex with them. So I roll damage. Five damage. So you hit like a couple of the ribs, not all of them. <laughs> and I just like, and then I put my crossbow right to its gall. All right, go ahead and roll that. Sick. Damn. All right, roll your damage. Seven damage. Seven damage. All right, so you come like this double like flurry of attack. Your 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 short sword goes through and takes a good chunk of his arm and rib cage through, and then you bring your uh, crossbow around and shoot one right through its head and a big good quarter piece of its uh, skull actually splinters Ooh. off entirely. So he's got half of a head, but he's continuing to swing its short sword around. Yuck. Spargle, it's your turn. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there anything else you want to do? Uh, nope. Okay. That skeleton's good and fucked up. All right. I'm going to go right here. Oh, right in the belly and... And I'm going to. So this guy right here is un... unharmed, right? Yep. I'm going to do chromatic orb. And uh, I'll say, uh, uh, I'll go, you know, my incinerate and shoot the, the uh, <laughs> a ball of fire at it. 
Incinerate. Ball of fire. Incinerate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <coughs> All right, so make a, make a ranged spell attack. Okay. They don't like take extra damage from certain like things like fire. Ooh. Hi. Hey, dude. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. What the same here? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this skeleton uh, is is sort of ignoring Spargle. Was kind of focused more on what its other companion and Deckard were kind of scuffling around about. So it turned its attention there. Right as Spargle casts this and yells incinerate, and you see it almost kind of, he's so close to the skeleton, it looks like it's forming within the rib cage of the skeleton and sort of growing and emanating out to the point that the skeleton itself looks like this ball of, like, burning bone. Uh, <laughs> it's a really solid hit. Uh, go ahead and roll your 3d8. Holy shit. You know he did. You know he ain't gonna be a rush hour three. <laughs> <laughs> um... Surprisingly, it's still moving, uh, oh, but a God. good 75% of it <laughs> is completely just either laying on the ground as as scrap or on fire. And the, and the ball of fire is, is still sort of just like sort of emanating there. Uh-oh. Anything else you want to do? Um, <clears throat> let me think. I don't think I can do anything else. No, I'm, I'm, that's it. All right. Okay. Uh, the skeleton that Deckard is sort of scuffling with turns away from Spargle uh, and attacks Deckard uh, with its short sword. No. Uh, 22 to hit. That hits. Three damage. Got it. All right, and then the other skeleton. Uh, now that it's like burning and everything, and it realizes this tiny creature in front of it causes is causing all this pain, almost just like lunges forward, and and it still has its its burning and, and scrappy short sword, and just tries to like stick it into Sparkle as it kind of almost falls on top of him, and completely misses and doesn't he like he like he like at the last second his ankle burns off and he like pivots over to the side and crashes a good 45 degrees in the other direction uh from where spargle is and spargle kind of looks down like yeah. <laughs> dan were you really good at charades when you are you good at charades like <laughs> i don't know if i played charades because you're really you're really good man <laughs> it's the beer all right, Alaric, it's your turn. So you just see this. Yeah, the last thing you saw was this skeleton, like uh, burning skeleton, just like half of a skeleton on fire, try to like lunge at Spargle and and land literally on the ground, uh, sort of prone, right where right where he's at, but in front of him. Uh, and then the other one is uh, still scuffling with Deckard. All right, we're all in. Finish it off, Big Daddy. Who's, whose turn is it? That had me muted. Oh, is he muted? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Were you yeah. telling us things and you're like, oh, yeah, they yeah, I was. Sorry about all that. Um, ba- basically, what I said was, give me a, f- give me a fucking minute. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, I, so oh, I, good. so I moved up. This one here, you said was the one that Decker was hitting. This is the one that uh, Spargle yeah, had like on fire. Yeah, that, that one right to the south is on fire and really almost dead. The other one's missing a quarter of its skull and is just clawing at Deckard. The other one is on the ground uh, trying to get back up and attack Sparkle. Okay. Um, I'm just going to take a uh, melee swing at this one. Okay. Are you like enraging on fire, nope. furying, mad Nothing. at your wife? Okay. All nope. right. Yeah. Just go ahead and roll your normal attack then. Fifteen. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. Twenty-one. S- 
solid hit. Yeah, you, you just your great sword comes right through this all this like just pile of bone that's trying to get it. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your damage. Can them such bones? Yeah, and, nice. and 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 as your sword goes through, like your sword goes through like mid height, and then everything, all these like bones that were animated, just go still and just drop to the ground, like you know, cartoon style. They just like fall to a, a silent pile, uh, and that skeleton nice. is dead. Nice, dude. Cool. Good job. All right. Anything else you want to do? Nope. That's it for me. Okay, Thornton. Uh, you're now. Uh, you're hearing all this commotion down the hallway, and Droop is behind you saying, Don't go in there! This the, the bad creatures! We're going in, lad. So I move, and I drag him behind me. So I get in the room, and I look around, and I go, What in the Sam Hill is going on in here? <laughs> so I move my 20 feet. Um, Droop is right behind me. And um, we see this fucking just burning... <laughs> skeleton just yeah, on the floor and I say I look at Droop and I say well little guy it's time for you to prove your worth and I take the spear that I grabbed from the other room and I just toss it to him and I tell him go ahead finish him off lad show him what you made of <laughs> oh my gosh yeah I'm yeah, uh, fucking absolutely this is the best thing <laughs> I've ever done <laughs> And like looking through the book, like I don't know. Oh, I'm so excited that I figured this out. I did not anticipate this. All right, so you gave a goblin a javelin, yeah, and a he's spear now attacking. A, uh, the same thing. Uh, no, it was spear. a spear that you took from that room. A yeah, spear? it's in my inventory. I can tell you what it is. Uh, it's yeah. It's a pound spear. Wait, I can probably see it. Hold on. Um, it's a one d six plus three. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay, so uh, that's a plus three because of your modifiers. He'll t he'll get his same modifier that he'd get on a scimitar. Okay. So uh, all right. So what so, does he say? So, Is he cool with it? Yeah. So he you you and he looks like he's real nervous. You know, he's like he's like shaking and he looks up at you and he like he's got this like real look of doubt and he almost like closes one eye and just stabs it towards his skeleton. Uh, so we got an 18 to hit, which, <laughs> uh, and let's see, so that, that spear is a d6 plus, plus his strength modifier. <laughs> hey, you know, I wouldn't have fucking hit the thing. I never hit anything, unless it had butt it. This guy is such a little weak. So he, he, he like connects with this skeleton and it, it, both his eyes open up and he looks really excited. But it just sticks into the bone, and he can't pull it back out. Uh -huh. It hasn't done literally any damage, and the skeleton now starts like turning its like half beat up <laughs> head towards uh, towards uh, Droop. I guess Ponch really didn't like that. I mean, didn't really appreciate that. <laughs> and Droop, and Droop faints. <laughs> he faints. He drops the javelin. He, he, he faints to the ground. He was like this moment of just elation of excitement that he connected with this thing just to see it turn towards him and he just he just passes out. Um but uh you could you still have an action if you want to take one. Oh, okay. That's cool. I, I figured I have to forfeit it. I gave right, you so... no, I gave you that free action to toss him the javelin because you can toss okay. a teammate something. Um, okay. it's, it's fair that Droop would have a turn. Your movement's done, so you still have an action. Or All right, yes, yeah, so I'm going to uh, attack with Talon, the great sword of conquerors and kings. Okay, uh, so you're going to swing at this same skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Add, add your flavor text to it. Uh, I did Talon, yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. Figured out how to do that. All right, so it's a 20 plus 6. Here we go. All right. All right, you know, as you as you were like so excited for Droop, and he, you saw him make contact, you're like, oh shit, it's not dead, and you just take a wild swing and you miss, yeah. because you my life. kind of rushed. Yeah, you thought with the way Droop kind of moved in that the skeleton was dead, but you didn't anticipate how weak he is. Yeah. Just Sorry. not able to just do it. Man. All right, Deckard, your turn. <laughs> um. Yeah, I slowly walk over to this side right here. 
And, uh... So you kind of, like, jump over a dead skeleton. You kind of run through its bone pile of remains and dart dash between Spargle and the other one and get behind. Yeah, I, like, jump over the weird remains of this dead thing, and I, like, one foot hop off of the coffin over Spargle. Not like it. All right. And do a somersault landing roll up right behind the undead right, creature. All right, settle down. And... All, right. <laughs> all right, settle down. <laughs> and then I do a 360 no scope swag for Jesus. Uh, I'm just going to shoot it with a crossbow. All right. And you're hitting, it, it's it's facing the other direction, so you're hitting it like straight through the sort of back or yeah, the, through the like, spine. You know, you, you right hit it like right, right down. Got it. Go ahead. I'm sure it's gonna. And I only do five damage. And it crumbles apart. Same thing. Just kind of like as soon as that as soon as that bolt hits, you just see everything sort of like disconnect and fall straight to the ground into a pile of bone. Uh, and this room has gone silent. I look at a lark. lark. You want to do anything with those bones? Uh, no, sir. <laughs> Not unless you want to have sex with them. Oh, all right. <laughs> we go dig them up. <laughs> yeah, have sex with bones. Yeah, have sex with bones. All right. What would you like to do? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's Deckard. Just yep, yep. all the time. Oh, God. All the time. <laughs> All right, what do you guys want to do? The room is uh, the room still now. Let's check the sarcophagus. Okay. You got any lemonade, Aaron? Or no? Matt, what's the you have lemonade? Like a stone. Aaron doesn't lid. have any lemonade, Matt. That's right. I don't want her lemonade anyway. Wow. Don't say. Don't say. That. Don't say. That. Sorry. Back to the game. Sorry, guys. Um. Yeah. So all of the sarcophagus is are open um and when you look inside there's no bodies or remains but there's like clothing and stuff and you happen to notice that it's well it, it was probably like really um luxurious type of uh, clothing at the time of course it's all deteriorated now but every each of the three sarcophagus has a um a platinum ring like a bright shining as old as everything else and everything else is, uh, and sort of uh, corroded and everything everything else is this is like bright and shiny real high quality um platinum so i'd like to them. take a deep smell of the clothing <laughs> make a constitution save <laughs> save There's okay something wrong with that guy that's a shade dark you mean in the hallway? Gotcha. Okay, so you breathe in this this material that has been uh, okay. surrounding <laughs> organic decay for it's the last hard. several centuries, <laughs> and oh, has mold and bacteria so and viruses that have just been sort of evolving within Wait, this sarcophagus. So I have disease uh, and resistance. Does that matter? <laughs> and the role was great too. So. You breathe it in and you like cough it out like like we would cough out sawdust. And you're like, ah, a lot of death and decay and disease. <laughs> like it's just like you're you just smell, man. Yeah, been dead a couple hundred years. Like, <laughs> any other person would probably fucking pass out, <laughs> be sick for several weeks. So, uh, but yeah, you do that. Uh, what kind of bones are left on the floor? Anything? Uh, uh, no, you know, you guys really, I mean, half of it's like a burnt pile of bone. Uh, you've got some stuff that's really all splintered up because the great sword just pulverized it. Um, and then the other skeleton is maybe semi-intact. Any um, finger bones or? Yeah, you can find tarsals and carpals and <laughs> tarsuses and femurs. You just name it, man. You can find your, you can find your bone thing. Okay. All right. That's whatever, all. Whatever okay. bone you want, we got it here. Okay. Are these doors like here and here? Yes, they're copper plated, like the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Uh, now the double doors. I was gonna point at my monitor, like you guys can see that. The double doors down here are the copper plated ones, but it's very that's old and corroded copper. 
Uh, this yeah. one is like the doors you've seen everywhere else, like big thick oak doors with like the iron trim and locks and stuff. Yeah. All right. Um, I go check this door out. Okay. Um. I try and open it slowly. Okay. The door. Um. Uh, wait. Stealthy or slowly? Like, Stealthily. All right. Go ahead and roll a, a stealth check. Uh. Oh. Wow, you're that's my you're invisible. Twenty stealth check. I've never so done twenty six. <clears throat> All right. Um. So you um, you walk up to the door and it pushes right open, um, and it, and it's real quiet. You're able to kind of like sneak the door open. It doesn't make a sound. Even your teammates behind you don't know that you're doing it yet. Uh, they don't notice that you've opened the door. Uh, this there there's a there's a low light in the room, so you can see. Uh, it looks like there's maybe a couple torches and stuff. Before before this. we go too much further, can I take a quick break to say goodnight to kids? Yeah, I, I don't mind if you guys want to take a five minute. Yeah, that that works. I get right. right. Let's do it. Yep. All right. Cool. Sounds good. This is perfect. Hello, lad. <laughs> you, know, you, want to... you want to play Rocket League? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Rich, is that, Rich asked earlier if you were wearing a cast. Are you wearing a cast? No, I'm not wearing a cast. Uh, I have a, a compression sock on. Uh, the compression sock is to increase blood flow in my right leg uh, due to a blood clot that I have. Uh, two blood clots I have suffered. Uh, which I will permanently have to do the rest of my life. stream is so smooth. Is it? Uh, yeah, it is. Your stream is smoother than... Well, I, I upgraded my internet, and I have my new computer, and I bumped up a lot of the settings on OBS, and it seems to... seems to work pretty well. <clears throat> is it okay if I play with my short stack? I don't know what that means, but yep. My pancake. Oh. I mean, if you're 12. Yeah, a bunch of... Yeah, all right, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, no, Amber didn't break my leg. She probably could have if she wanted to. It's prison Mike. Oh, no, I thought we saw the last of him. Go. Oh, I didn't know you were right behind me. I'm sorry, bud. Oh, that was good. 
So laggy with the webcams going, it's unbelievable. Ooh, you dodged the bullet. I whiffed. There it is. I'll try a demo. Best teammates ever. <laughs> I can't see who's back and who's not, so. I'll pass to you. Okay. Never mind. Oh, man. I'm on a logger and a pilsner kick, damn it. I'm gonna have to look for that. Hello. Welcome. Hey, what's up? Yeah, dude, I'm, I am too, man. There's some good shit out there now. It's hard to find. Everything's still a lot of IPAs and ales. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. I've been drinking a lot of Blue Moon. It's a good one. You guys had Bodie? Yeah. Yeah. Columbus Bodie? Mm hmm. Adam, that was a cool game. It's hey, Cincy, I thought. Isn't Bodie yeah. Cincy? Oh, I got an encryption. Columbus Brewing Company. 
Oh, is it? I think so. I could be wrong. It's a pretty heavy IPA. Oh. I had some funky ones during beer week. The, they had Bodies like infused with like jalapeno and all kinds of weird things. It was Sign me up. I'm a weird. big jalapeno guy. Those habanero almonds you guys recommended are. Oh, oh my god! Too, I can't god. find them. Ridiculous, right? I can't find the damn things. I keep looking. Get Star Crunch instead. You'll be you'll be happy. Oh. I love Star Crunch. That is good for you. All right. So, um, yeah. What did you guys want to do in this room? Oh, oh. So Deckard busts the door open. Or I'm sorry. Slowly. Open. Slowly open the door. Uh, kind of looks into the room. There's enough light that you can see uh, into the room. You need the light. And what you see is uh, that this long room is partitioned into three areas with iron bars <clears throat> walling off the north and the south. Um, so that's kind of like you're seeing these like rows of iron bars. Okay. Got it. So can I uh, see what's through? Sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry. No, it's still going. Uh, filthy straw lines the floors of those cells. So they're pr it's basically like a prison sort of area. Um, the hinge doors of the cells are secured by chains and padlocks, and you see a pair of disheveled human women are held in the uh, cell to the south. So you see these these two women that are just like in all kinds of just scrap kind of clothing and. Whatnot. I'd like to smell them. <laughs> oh wait! Oh wait! Oh wait! I'm waiting for that. <laughs> I'd like to smell them. Oh, God. And to the north, you see a um, uh, a human boy uh, is in the north one. And they're all in, like, plain gray tunics and iron collars around the necks uh, that are sort of have chains to the ground there. Um, and then there's, like, a big pile of just, like, random clothing right here uh, in the middle of the room. That's what you see. All right, should we all file in? I step in. I'm like alarmed, and I run over. I run over to the two. Well, I run over to the boy. All right, write a uh, roll a perception check. I would have. I would use your passive perception, <laughs> but since you rolled a good stealth coming in the door, I'm gonna give you an extra roll for the young boys, huh? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seven. Yep. As you as you roll over <laughs> towards that door, um, you notice uh, at the last second, but after he fires off uh, a a uh, a short bow kind of arrow. Sorry, my computer's going nuts right now. It's only one cowboy around here, boy. Uh, yeah, so, so as you walk, you, you notice at the last second, like hiding, sulking in the corner is one of the Red Ram ruffians uh, who knew, who had heard you uh, well before you came into this room and was kind of just hiding in the corner ready. And he fires off a, a short bow at you. Um, uh, seven to hit. That does not hit. So the arrow uh, <laughs> at, doesn't make it through the cell kind of bars. It, Clink, 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 and it mm -hmm. just lands kind of in front of you, uh, but exposes that uh, he's out there uh, in the corner behind uh, this this boy that's tied up in chains. Okay. I look um, over and I go, and, you... I mean, do I... Uh, like, we're going to all roll initiative, but go ahead. Oh, and... okay. Never mind. I mean, I, do I roll initiative or... Never mind. You can... Yeah, go ahead and you can, you can say whatever you're going to say. Well, I was going to shoot him. I was going to say, you dumbass. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, no. Uh, let's roll initiative. You, <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> you can still say that. <laughs> yeah, he still says it. He does. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. You, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> 19 for me. All right. Throw it in you at a 20. Yeah, baby. Looks like I'm breaking through those fucking iron bars <laughs> with my head. <laughs> Alaric had 17. Yes, sir. Uh, 
why is this weird red brand just like hiding out with a small boy in a cell? <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. Is it, is it Jerry Sandusky? <laughs> in the red cloak? Like Nit Nittany Lions fucking band. <laughs> uh, right. uh, let's see. Um, so, uh, Deckard. Where are you at? Uh, sp oh, Spar. No, that was supposed to be Spargle. Can I do this? Yes. <laughs> He's in a red cloak. Oh my I mean, gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's terrible. All right. So, um, Thoradin, it's your turn. Uh, so, right. Deckard moved into this room, and then you heard um, it, someone like fire an arrow at him, and Deckard like swear and say, like, You made a mistake, boy. And right, so uh, I, yep. I hear that. I choke up on the rope, and I say, Droop. Let's go, lad. Oh, he's still passed out. Oh, okay, uh, so I just drag him, I guess. Okay. Uh, all right. I'll get. All right. So I'm standing there. I give him a little kick. I say, right. Drew, wake up." He looks up real quick, and he's he's just like kind of like d doesn't have his bearings for a second. And then he sees you again. And he's like, "Oh, he looks all bummed out." Um. All right. If I cut this rope, do I lose an action? Like, is that my attack? Uh, yeah, you'd have to okay. use an action to cut a rope. Okay, okay, that's fine. So I'm just going to drag his ass. I'm going to say, let's go, Droop. We're going on in. So that's All right, and he, he scrambles towards you. You can still move 20. Uh, 20 from here or 20 from... Yeah, 20 from where you are at. Oh, okay, so that's 5, 10, 15, and then 20. So Droop's right behind me. Yep. And I look to my right, and I see these two women. They're at the shovel. Uh-huh. Yeah, you see. It. Roll um, a perception check. Okay. I have dark vision. Does that, does that matter? Um, actually, that was a good enough roll. So, um, you when you look over towards those women, you notice behind them is another ruffian, uh, who's just kind of hiding behind them. Um, uh, there's these two women on the ground, one older and one younger. Um, and he's just kind of hiding in there, and he also has a little short bow kind of drawn, but not really pointed in anybody. So when I had quickly looked to the right, I did manage to glance at their um, chest area. Do I notice anything in particular about the... You know, honestly, they're not, not, not nothing great, right? So the, so the one, they're, they both look really skinny, like they haven't eaten in a long time. Right, so right. It's kind of creepy that you're looking at their... I just want to know how old they are. I'm just trying to get an oh, idea. Yeah, so the one looks like 40-ish, and she looks like she's probably, when she's not, like, in a prison cell in, in like, the, a, a bandit headquarters, she might be hot. Right. Uh, or might have been might have been pretty attractive when she was younger. Brown hair, big brown eyes, uh, but gaunt because she just hasn't eaten. Uh, but looks, you know, kind of strong, like a strong woman. Big the tits. other one, um, uh, <laughs> maybe, again, they're right. so... Yeah, the other one. The other one is a younger, a younger woman, probably about eighteen years old, and um, has longer, sort of reddish hair. Also looks pretty skinny, bigger teeth and stuff. Uh, also big brown eyes. Um, they they look up at you, and, and they they don't even look really like uh, encouraged that you're there, um, but they are looking at you. They just look so miserable. Does Droop see what's in here too, or he can't yet, or? Uh, he's just kind of behind you, and um, you know he doesn't seem too afraid of this room like he did the last room when you were um, heading into the skeletons. He's just kind of like, ah, these guys got this. All right, so I, I say to Droop, I say there's two young women and there's a young boy, and a couple of red brands. What do you know about this room, lad? Tell me if you know. Oh, the, yeah, this is where they keep the slaves, the other slaves besides Droop, the human slaves. They sell them. They sell them and they bring them here and they sell them and they bring them here and then, but they they don't sell droop. They just keep them in the bunkers and they <laughs> them I, and they spin on them and they don't, don't sell them. They don't sell droop. I asked droop. Um, <laughs> no one don't. wants to buy droop. No. <laughs> um, do you know if that red brand over there in the corner to the left is that Jerry Sandusky? No. <laughs> he looks at you real confused. And... <laughs> real confused. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I don't I don't know their names. They they just they're just yeah. There's so many. All right. That's it. All right. Um. Okay. So Alara, it's your turn. Okay. Sorry, just clogging up the doorway there. Um, but uh, so I have no problem moving through Droop and Thorded. It'll be difficult terrain, so it'll be half your movement speed. So you use an extra five movement for each of those two squares. Sorry, man. Through. Well, then you know what? I'm just gonna go in here, which is about so my movement speed. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> right, so, six. So five, Move ten, 30. fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Exactly. Yep. And Perfect. that's it. And I'm just gonna kind of uh, hold a stoic pose. Okay. Uh, this ruffian that was back here, Deckard, the one that took a shot at you, he does yeah, the same thing. Well, yeah, stand up. Wait, uh, hold on, Tom. I, I can't see this. This right here, this is like a wall, right? This is an entrance here. Uh, I, those are bars, like prison cell bars. All right, so all right, all right. Then I really I'm, can't fire. Okay, range I, I just want to make sure. Easily. Then I'm right. I'm doing what I did. Sorry. Yeah. So like this ruffian's firing at Deckard through the bars. He's got to fire through three quarter cover. That's okay. what I'm doing, which is like impossible for him to hit, but he's still trying. <laughs> Makes sense. And he he shoots another uh, arrow right into the bars. Sparkle, your turn. Dumbass. <laughs> Um, I don't think I can get in. Five, ten. Yeah, you're a little guy. You could fit. Fifteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-five. No, I. Uh, um. I, I, all right. So I just go over there, and I'm looking in, just kind of like you know, peering in. I'm like, oh my gosh, lots of big guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then, all right, so I just kind of, I just wait there. Cool. All right, Deckard, it's your turn. Oh, you can't get in? I, no. I actually, at this point, like, I'm looking that way, but I, I lean against the wall. I kind of sit down and pull my knees up, and I just kind of, like, I'm, I'm taking a breather. Yeah, you're all fucked up, too. Don't forget. Trying to uh, tend oh, yeah, to he... my wounds a little bit. That's right. All right, Deckard, your turn. I, um... I actually, uh... Put away my crossbow and you know i look over at this red brand and i'm like I, I, i'm gonna come in there and put a welt on your ass son you don't even know <laughs> and i i get my feet i get my you don't even thieves, know <laughs> i get my thieves tools out and i try and pick the lock on the padlock <laughs> All right, make a dexterity check. Oh, shit. I'm going to put a welt on you. This crossbow. Ugh, oh, come on. What did I roll? What was that, a four? Eight? <coughs> no, yeah, eight. eight. So you say that, and you're, you're so focused on taunting oh, this, this red brand that you don't realize that you just sort of, like, fumbled. You, you had the thieves lock, to, or the thieves... The lockpick kind of like turned around a little bit and you like fumbled it. And, uh, so you grab it and you get ready for maybe your next turn to try again. Okay. Uh, this, uh, so, so uh, the, the, uh, the red brand that's with the two behind the two women down here, he seems to feel a little braver. He's only seen this little dwarf run in and this like cowboy looking guy. Uh, so he opens this gate or uh, this door from the inside uh, and he barrels out side of this, um, and he uh, he looks over at Thordin, and he and he looks over his shoulder and sees the goblin and looks like wide eyed a little bit, like holy shit, they got droop. Uh, <laughs> and then and then he uh, he takes a swing at Thordin with his um, short sword. Yeah, good luck, pal. Uh, and. Because he kind of, you didn't expect him to kind of come flying through the door like that. He takes a nice jab, and it goes right through your armor. It, it, it hits this, like, really uncanny, lucky sort of spot where it just drives straight into flesh. Is your all natural 20? 
I did. That guy's a dick. Um. Stop using the white dice. That was the white dice. Yeah. You only roll 20s when you're against us. Oh, it's been rolling like garbage all night, too. Uh, so that's plus two. Oh, no, they cut uh, my head off. 13 damage. Whew. Someone, ice, some of it ice is full. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he comes, he comes, he, he pu pushes open the, uh, the prison gate or prison bar doors, uh, and then in one clean motion just drives this and, and you guys all, uh, the Deckard and, and Alaric who can kind of see this happening, you're like, ah, oh, this, this is just going to glance right off of his armor, but just hits that one sweet spot and just sinks straight through and You can all tell that it was quite a, uh, heavy hit. Um, and it is Thorin's turn. Yeah, it is Thorin's turn. All right, so, um, uh, can I do that thing with the group attacking again, or is that? Is, I mean, he may not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can do right, whatever so you want. Move. So I, so I get stand like, ah, oh, you son of a bitch, that hurt. So I move down. Um, droop's right behind me. Right, so droop kind of. Gets yanked into the room as well. It's like you've got like, a pet. This is great. He like, he like bumps up against Alaric and he looks up <laughs> like, you know, he's good four feet taller than him. And he's like, oh, and he looks back down at Thornton. So I, I look at the red brand and I say, not only am I going to stab you, you little red son of a bitch, so is my goblin friend here. Um, isn't that right, Droop? Droop's looking at you and not at the red brand and just kind of like shaking his head, but hoping that you're going to strike first. That's I'm going to strike first. Follow my lead, lad. So um, I pull out Talon and it glows. It's gleaming. It's bright. It's <laughs> shining so bright. Um, and, it, you know, and when it comes out, you, you kind of just you do one of those because the light from the sword. Um, Need it. And then uh, and then I swing it and then I take a big, a big hack at this son of a bitch. <laughs> that, that two -handed? Four, okay? It's one handed. I'm using a shield. Oh. Sorry. Um, so that's that's a roll. Alright. Alright. And Talon nice. sinks sinks down right into the, the red brand, like deep into his chest cavity. Alright, good. Now for the damage. Nine damage? Yeah. All right, the, the uh, Talon digs in deep and uh, comes straight through the other side of his, um, oh, you know, his, his oh. upper upper chest. Oh, uh, he's super and, and, dead, and, man. Yeah, you see blood kind of start <laughs> oozing out from both sides, and he, 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 hold, he holds super it with one dead. arm, but he, he's still holding his short sword up, and he's ready to keep swinging. He's got a hole in him. <laughs> he does. He's holding it up. He's holding it, holding it you in. You finished this bastard off. All right. And so Droop then kind of like holds this this uh, spear that you had given him earlier, and he 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 seems more confident in it this time. And again, he sinks it deep, <laughs> or he or it, it it the aim is true, right? So the aim is coming right right at the front of the red brand, uh, but the damage, yeah, and uh, yeah, it it goes in, and the red brand drops to a knee. He's now got a javelin in one side, and he's holding where you kind of drove drove Talon through his other side, and he's just he's still alive, but he's like barely holding onto his short sword, and he's on one knee. Can I start urinating on him, or is that not a, is an action? Or? Uh, as your free action, I'll let you <laughs> unzip your pants. Yeah, not pee though, just unzip. Not yet, not yet, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just wait, I'm just unzipped for like the next. That's you're unzipped, yes. <laughs> All right. Careful, well, you're gonna start. Gonna... You're gonna start turning Decker down. Well, also we got the two uh, females in the corner. <laughs> oh, um, be... awesome! <laughs> well, so Thinking ahead. Them. They're they're super horny right now. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure they, are. they don't want to. They don't want to like eat food or anything or get some sure. water. Just no, love no, some no. dwarf it's cock. A little, little dwarf cock. Yeah. Oh, all right. so... <laughs> no, there's no right. So you can't just say that after you say that. Come on, man. <laughs> That's true. All right. All right so, uh, Thornton, you're done. Alaric's turn. Um. Which, uh. 
Wait a minute. Where's Thor? Oh, Thornton's right here. God damn it. <laughs> you don't smell the piss? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. The droop's head was in your way. Or name was in your way. <laughs> um, what What is this right here? A uh, big pile of clothes. Like like a huge pile. Like it looks like a Salvation Army just fucking got dumped in the corner. I'll the smell room. those later. Don't worry. He will. Um, okay. Well, I guess I don't need to move. I'm, I'm just going to take a swing. At the one that Thornton just... Thornton and, and Droop just fucked up? Yep. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um... And what are you doing? Explain, you're doing a... Just taking a swing with my greatsword. Your greatsword? Okay. Yep. Um, so you start to swing your sword back. Like, you start to... You, you pull your sword out, and as you're lifting your sword up to make the swing... You brush by this red brand and actually slice his throat and he dies. <laughs> nice. All right. He had one hit. He had one hit point left, so your just presence was enough to literally put him down. So, <laughs> okay, yeah. so this one's dead. He is dead. Okay. Um, at that moment, and after seeing you barrel into the room and that you guys have rescued group and everything, this this ruffian in the corner starts. He throws his short sword down. I mean, his short bow down. Um, he's still got a short sword on his hip, and he, he puts his arms up, and he's like, please let me live, guys. I, I, I don't even like it here. These guys are terrible. <laughs> I've just been watching these prisoners. This is the worst. I just want to go home. But, okay, so I ask him, so how did you become a red brand? What's the initiation process? <laughs> well, you fight in the arena. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> He looks like, like really confused. He's like, "This is not an arena." But, but you know, yeah. If you you know you, you meet Glass Staff and he think you know if he, you you agree to kind of do what he says and you know you can put on a thing, your cloak. And get to, that's that's the. Is that a pit you have to fight in? There's no pit. No, we just we just gotta agree to like. Wrap up. <laughs> The, the villagers here, and you know, like take some stuff, and you know, keep them on their toes, and yeah, and we take they take care of us. Is is there any secret passcodes or anything? Uh, yes. Uh, if you get if you, yeah, um, if you if you get stuck in the room, um, with the the, the old the old coffins, uh, there's there's un there's skeletons in there. There's undead. If Hell, you I say agree. the speak that you speak the secret password. Illafarn, the skeletons won't attack you. <laughs> and, then, and, then he, and then he kind of looks at you guys, and he looks at the door, and he looks at you, he goes, but you came through there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so He's I start right on, on him. That's it. Uh, uh, he, he gets like, he, he like, just like, just takes it, like, because he's like not trying to fight back, and he just, just <laughs> he just looks just disappointed and, and just sad as you're peeing all over him. <laughs> I'm still trying to pick the lock. <laughs> you still locked in there, right? Oh yeah. All right, so you can't pee from it's there. Stream. That's so stream. That's stream. Yeah, go ahead. And you can roll another <laughs> dexterity check. You're using your thief tools. Yeah. Oh. All right, there we go. This uh, time you're, so you're even. You're, even you're not even looking down at the lock. You're looking at the ruffian, and you just kind of put the your thief tools <laughs> in there, and and, shoop, and it swings right open. <laughs> And then he's just like looking at you guys, and he's now his hands are trembling. He's like, "Come on, guys, come on! I, 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 just, I, I won't, you know." What? Without even, I don't even hesitate. I just march right in. I walk right in, and I, you know, I don't have any weapons in my hand. Like I put my these tools away, and I just backhand him across <laughs> the face. Put a welt in your ass, boy. <laughs> All right, make an attack. Melee, unarmed. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god, you might have just killed him. That joke's funny. Uh, so that, that actually does, so you have fixed damage on that, right? It's like four or something like that. It's your strength modifier only. So that's an unarmed strike? Yeah, so you'll just double your damage if that's what it is. So I do you know, one damage. You only do one? You one hit like a girl. <laughs> legending damage. I have ten strength. I have no oh, modifier. That's a strength thing, okay. Uh, okay, so you, do, so you do two damage. Uh, yeah, uh, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Decker walks up and he's like, "Oh." oh. <laughs> this red man's like, "Oh no, you didn't." Oh uh, no, you yeah. didn't. 
No, he, uh, he, you, no, you hit him. Yeah, yeah, you give him a good hit. And he's like, oh, come on. Yeah. He's like, oh, guys, come on. I, I. I said I surrender, man. Right, bitch. I, 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 I said I'm gonna put a uh, next time putting a welt on your ass. <laughs> I put a welt on your face. <laughs> next, time <laughs> next, <laughs> next time. Next time. I'm gonna fuck boy. you sideways, boy. He's like, I, he's like, I know. He's like, what can I, what can I help you guys with? Anything? Just come on, let me let me go, man. I I, I didn't want any, any part. Why, of why do you? Crap. You're sitting here. There's a starving b little boy right here, and you're sitting here being an asshole. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what the boss tells us to do, and you know we we you know we got to move these people through and sell them, and I, I don't I don't the, want the anything boss, to do with it. The boss tells you to to leave little boys to starve. Well, we don't they don't starve. We we sell them. I backhand him again. <laughs> All right, make another attack. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, I don't know what. So eight. Next uh, time, boy. All right. So this time you swing at him again and you miss and he looks and once you miss he like he you see this like his fucking eyes calculating and looking at the door and then he sees fucking Alaric standing in the doorway <laughs> and he's just like for whatever reason he must think running's a good idea. Oh and no. And he starts dashing this way. So Thoradin and Deckard get an attack of opportunity as he moves towards Alaric. Can I can I can I try and trip him? Can I? Can I? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. You get a free attack on him, basically. I want to. I want to trip him. I don't want him to get away. Grapple. Right. I want to question. Yeah, go ahead and make a grapple. Uh, be a grapple. grapple him. Yep. A grapple. Where, where is that? Uh, you do a. Um. You just do an attack. Oh, I see grapple. Oh, okay. I see what that is. So it's is it with my unarmed just like a plus five or is it my strength or using at least one free hand you try to seize the target by using grapple of a strength check which is probably what you want to oh, okay. do got it uh, which he'll have to combat you know he'll have to beat your whatever you come up with he'll have to beat and they're there's they're normal strength kind of guys. oh god that's with your modifier yeah nine okay. So Thoradin reaches out and just tries to like kind of shoestring this guy and then trip him or tackle him. Uh, but he kind of like he just does it. He just kind of dips his legs out of it. And he's he's like frantically like now he now he's gotten past like two of you and he's like he's got this glimmer of hope like he's gonna get the fuck out if he gets out of this room he's home free. Droop, why uh, didn't you stop him? Uh, <laughs> Droop's just looking up and he's he's still holding his spear and he's just kind of like swinging it around waiting for orders in a way and didn't know and he kind of now he looks nervous that you're yelling at him like i didn't know I was it's all right it's all right it, he, he looks like my 16 month old when he's carrying around this shower curtain plays <laughs> 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 the hell are you doing right. boy oh, Eric, it's, it's your turn uh this guy is now like sort of like right in front of you right in front of me or wait a minute what the hell am i doing where did he go? He's know. right in south of. Oh, there he is. oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm sorry. He's 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 right there. He was trying to move. No, he moved to here. I'm sorry. I'm gonna move her over here. Okay. Over here. So he's so, right there. He's right. So he ended there. I didn't get an ac attack of opportunity on him. Now you. Now you. Well, no. Uh. -uh. He moved. Let's say. I'm, I'm. What I'm saying is he moved beyond Thornton and Deckard, so they both got a shot. Now he's moved into your square. Okay, so it looks like everybody's trying to not kill him, and we're trying to keep him for questioning. So, uh, oh, I, I, I was gonna. <laughs> Decker's like, I, I was gonna fucking kill. All him. right, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'll try to grapple him. Dude is starving a small child. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll kill him eventually. We just want to. Yeah, go ahead. Roll your strength. Uh, check out. It's just a strength check, right? Yeah, the target you grapple, uh, using at least one free hand, you try to seize a target by making a grapple check instead of an attack roll. Okay. A strength contested by strength or dexterity contested by whatever the target chooses. So 17. All right. So he runs. He, he kind of like dips out at like Deckard's trying to like, or Thornton. Right, Thornton was trying to like grab yeah. his legs, and he sort of like did, you know, he high steps right out of that that one, uh, but then kind of literally slams right into Alaric's huge chest, and Alaric just bear 
shouts him and has him trapped. Uh, so that's your action. Uh, okay, so my, my, my bonus action will be... Uh, I'm just going to say something. Uh, Alaric will say... Uh, he's uh, and Alaric's going to use uh, uh, a Hope Mender accent, and he's going to go, Where are you going, lad? <laughs> I hear it. I it it'll, it'll, it, it, probably, it probably won't be very good. Like, it'll be very obvious that he I'm not a dwarf, but he's trying. You should have to make a performance check. <laughs> <laughs> he He's just, this this ruffian's just sort of wiggling around now and realizes very quickly that it's futile. And he stops wriggling around. And he's like, I just want to go. I don't want, don't kill me. I hated it here. <laughs> I hate I'm, not a, I'm not a bad guy. These guys came in and, and you know, I don't have any friends or family here. And, and it was either join these guys or get or get killed. I, I, fuck. <laughs> you got you have a great cry voice. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, he is a whiny on. bitch. I am a whiny bitch. <laughs> I don't even want to be here. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yeah, ask him where uh, where's Yarno? Let's let's hear it. Come on. So I mean, is that so? So my turn is over. I have him grappled. He's given up. What, uh, He's not fighting any. If you if you guys stop your aggression, he is certainly fine to not try to win this fight. And he, now that you've grappled him, he knows he can't escape. Literally, he would have to roll like a natural twenty to get away from you. Five percent chance. So are we going like turn order here? Like, are we doing combat? No, we we can pause combat if if you're okay. if Alaric's gonna try to like have a conversation with this guy because he's there's no aggression. For yeah, his I mean I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna kill him. I mean I I grappled him for a reason. So I mean I I said what I was gonna say. So should I? Can I continue to talk to him? Yeah, you can ask him whatever you want. So, so what are you doing here? What's going on? We're trying to figure out what the deal is here. Well, you know, we, we, we got orders to just keep Fanolin, the, the city, just sort of disrupted, right? They, they, we, they, we make some money. for, for we, we, Money gets fed back to King Grawl at Cragmaw Castle. Gra Glassstaff, is doing, he's got something going on with the Black Spider. We've never met the Black Spider. We don't know who or what the Black Spider is. Uh, but Yarno, you know, we just kind of follow his orders and all he cares about is, you know, getting his cut and letting us sort of just kind of rough up the city and take what we can take. And we got a pretty good operation here, but I never felt good about, you know, robbing all these people. They were my friends. This is, this is, I lived here not too long ago. I don't want any part of it, but I, I didn't think I had a choice. Um, so, you know, that's all I know. You couldn't have fought or run away, or they, they, we, they were just there was they were just too powerful. They just you know they've got goblins and bugbears and and glass staffs a, a wizard. I haven't never seen a wizard in this area. I I don't know. There was just no choice. I feel bad. We've done a lot of really bad things. And he looks down at the the two women beneath you know behind him, and he's like. And he looks at them and he goes, I was all right, right? Th those other guys were pretty rough with you, but I, I, I never did anything to you. And the women just have blank stares on their face and they just they are kind of looking through him. And he looks down and just, you can tell, he, he genuinely feels, this guy looks like he feels bad. I kneel down to the to the boy. Okay. They, uh, was this man, uh, did he, was he mean to you? Show me on the dial where he touched you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go and I pick up the goblin and I go, show me where. <laughs> show, me on, show me on the goblin where he touched you. Uh, uh, so out of the three prisoners that are in this room, the boy who is the, who is the youngest that you can tell seems to be the most vibrant. And he, he, he steps up and he says, um, he goes, I don't know. 
all these guys were really rough and awful. They killed my, they killed pops, and uh, you and know pops, we've been pops or just pops, we, just pops. pops. Yeah. And, even and, if, and we've been, we've even been even after they got the new ride, even after, and we've been kind of <laughs> you know they they've held us here for a long time, um, you know. That that one there, yeah, he never he never touched my mama or my sister the way the other ones did. Oh. But they but he wasn't a nice guy. They've all been not none of us none of them have given us food or, or helped us and we've just been rotting away down here. So mm. Lark's gonna uh uh yell out to him and say, So what should we do with him? He he goes, I, I, can I see my mom I just wanna see my mama and he's like kinda looking past all you guys towards the other two women. Oh, that's yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah, run along. So the boy runs over to the older-ish woman, and she looks a lot like, uh, like the 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 mom from Walking Dead. If you think of that actress, she was in Prison Break, and she's like brown yeah. hair, pretty, yeah. pretty, but like kind of a little le weathered and, and worn. Yeah. Um, and then, and then the, yeah, right. the the girl looks like the younger girl looks like she's also a, you know attractive, but little horse teeth kind of thing going on um but anyhow the boy and the mom and the girl all kind of like huddle up together and, and they're just so relieved and and like the elated that they've been saved they like they thought for sure they were being sold into slavery or just killed um but again the boy seems to be the spokesman the, the most put together and and once he gets to his mom and stuff he's like uh he's like uh you know we just want to get back to the village um you know if 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 whatever you want to do with these these red brands i i will say that that one there was you know he was he wasn't the worst one he didn't kill pop no no i no those were the, i don't know who that what we don't know who that was um it kind of um it happened in the middle of the night it might have been any of these guys um but once they killed killed my dad um you know they just they just kind of came in and took the rest of us and We've been here for weeks. What's your name, lad? Um, he says, uh, my name is Nars. That's a shit. He's got, re he's got real dark hair and darker eyes than his sister and his mom. But he's, he says, my name's Nars. Um, and he's 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 starting to perk up a little bit and even be a little bit kind of like engaging because he's like, you guys are like superheroes to him right now. I don't like your name. We're going to call you Neil for the stands, boy. <laughs> he says... Okay, I never had a nickname. That's kind of okay, cool. Neil. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Hey, lad. That's really cool. Can we hang out all the time now? Yes, you can, lad. You got Hi it. Here's a spear. So I grab the spear from Droop and I give him the spear. Droop, Droop, like, almost hangs on to it for a second, and then kind of like is happy to let go of it, and then he just kind of looks like disappointed in himself. Ah, Droop, do you want another one? Let's go to the stock room. We'll get you one. But 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 uh, Nars on the other hand grabs it and he uh, he kind of like looks around and he now he's kind of pointing it at the the one red brand who you guys have talked to and he's just sort of like holding it in oh. front of him threatening. Hey, calm, calm down, Neil. Calm down, boy. I say, uh, uh, <laughs> Drew, what can you do? You know this red brand? Uh, I look at the red brand. So what's your name, son? Real quick, what's your name? The dumbass. Um, <laughs> he says, uh, uh, my name's Flint. Uh, Flint, Flint Masterson. Uh, Flint, that, that's a dumbass name, so I'm just gonna call you dumbass. That works. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, my name is Dumbass Masterson, um, uh, sir. Uh, I can, I'd be happy to escort these these nice folk back to town if you'd like <laughs> me to do that. Um, I, I'll make sure. You know, we can we can kind of give them whatever sort of um loot or or any points over to the big pile of clothing and stuff and he says you know we, we can ha they can have as much stuff as as they want to kind of you know you know dress themselves properly and i'll take them back to town um i, I i'm committed to, to making this right again i, I, you I know, think you you're gonna shut your mouth now that's what i think boy and, he, and he, he's, when you start even addressing him he does just stop mid-sentence and kind of look down uh we're gonna tie you up decker get some rope on this fella I tie up. I tie him up. All right. <laughs> roll, roll a survival check. Hands behind his back. All right. Pretty good knot. All right. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah. So, you, so you tie up this red brand. Uh, any information he has about um, um, 
Um, glass staff or glass staff. Yeah. Does he have any information about glass staff or where is uh, he? Uh, uh, yeah. I, you guys didn't run into him. Uh, how did you get? How'd you get here? How did you know? You we found the trap this? doors. We found all that. He's not here. Where is he? Okay. <gasps> did he drink a potion? There was there were there were some potions here. Did he get, did he get, was he, have you seen his, his chambers? Yeah, I found a little letter I could even show you as proof. And he wasn't in his chambers? Not that we know of. He says, he says, you gotta go now. He's probably trying to get out. If you can catch him, he is, if you, if you move south through that room with the, with the coffins, that's his escape route. Lead the way. Um... And he, he looks around and he, he does. He starts moving uh, out, out of the room and, and down towards um, those big double doors. Um, uh, really quickly, we should probably get these women and, uh, and uh, Neil out of here. Uh, <laughs> uh, is this clothing on the floor here? Is this anybody's clothing? Who are you saying that to? Uh, I address all of them. I address the whole room. Oh, they, they all look kind of just, again... Besides the boy Nars, the the two women just look a little bit out of it, um, almost like um, not sort sort of all with it. Um, but they they you know what they start to like grab clothing and stuff and kind of like fix themselves up a little bit. And Nars or Neil, the boy, um, starts um, kind of like you know comforting them and and kind of supporting them and stuff. And he's like, come on, he's like he's like he's like. Come on, Nilsa and Mom. Let's, he goes, Mom, Mom, Nilsa, let's get out of here. <clears throat> um, While and... this is going on real quick, Dan, I run in here and I grab a couple of the short, short swords. Yes, and... good idea. All right, for you know what I mean? Like like three of them. And then I walk back out just to try to, to hand it to them. Yeah, and... that's a good call. I like that. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Nars, the youngest boy, he's the first one to sort of grab him, and he's like, he looks at you guys, and he gets this really confident look, and it's like, wow, we really have been saved, and these I guys think. really are on our side. And he, and he hands one to his sister, and he goes, you protect mom, I'll protect you. And uh, the mom is just still a little too despondent uh, to really even take a sword. Um, but the three of them uh, look at you guys, and, 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 and Nars Neil says, uh, I know my way out. If if it's clear, I'll get my family home. And he's uh, saying yes, that he, yes. he says it to you, Thornton. You get the spear or the sword. Take one. You don't get both. Uh, he uh, he he kind of. He's thirteen years old, but he he looks like he's he's acting like an adult at this point. He's just such a like confident like he's become the man of the family. All of a sudden, he grabs the javelin and he kind of almost like holds it like he he's like weighing it. And then he tosses that to his sister and he says, you'll be good with this. And he takes the sh sword and he grabs his mom and he says, let's go. And they start walking back through the same way you guys came in. Um, Cause I want to get a weapon for Droop. I have an extra, there was three sword. I've grabbed three oh, short swords. Okay. I think Droop right. would be better with a short sword. Uh, Droop, take the sword. Take Droop. Get the hell out I think Droop would be better dead. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, well, remember, Zoot killed one of the uh, red brands. Oh, All right. That's cool. The only reason right. that Gorb so Goblin's is still alive right. is that Oatmander likes it. So <laughs> we're going to follow I'm, this guy now? I'm cleaning up the, the board a little bit here, just getting rid of some shit. All right, cool. Yeah, you, you guys all kind of dove into the back into the room following the red brand. Uh, he's now in front of those two big uh, double doors. And he says, um, I've never been through here. This has always been sort of out of bounds territory. Uh, but I know that uh, somewhere uh, back through uh, this area, uh, there's a cellar. And there's an, a way out of the manor through that cellar. And if you came in through the cavern and you didn't see Glassstaff in his chambers, this is the only other way out. And right. he's, he's standing in front of the door. Crack it open. Uh, what are you, are you saying that? You know, uh, saying I, that? I, I, uh, I, I stopped the group. And, um, well, never mind. I, I, I look at the group. And, uh, so, you know, fellas, we've been, uh, 
We've been going pretty hard here. We've been in a few fights. Would you want to sit down for a minute? Take a breather? I could use a drink. I I do look a little distressed by that, though. Um, my, I'm like, I'm perforated, but we need we need Glassstaff before he gets out. All right. At least I need his head. I slacked you, Spargle. Okay. Very simple statement there, but... Um, so I, I appreciate what Spargle just said, and I said, all right, he's right, um, but I noticed that he's, like, you know, low on um, fortitude, we'll say. So um, I'm, I'm, I'd like to use some of my lay on hands on Spargle, because he looks a little beat up. Um, so I'm going to use uh, three points of lay on hands on you, Spargle. Nice. Thanks, man. Uh, says, yeah. Oh, that feels good. Thank you. I hear uh, but... Flint, uh, who you've been talking to, uh, when he hears you guys talking, he's like, if Yarna, if uh, Glassstaff is on his way out, he'll be gone in minutes. Mm. When he hears you guys talking about taking a rest, he's like, oh, he says Glassstaff is, if he's still in the build, if he's still in this complex, uh, he's only feet away from getting out of here. Yeah, all right. So I, I, we should go along. So if you have any Let's time, go. it's going to be now. <clears throat> all right. Go ahead, let's, let's go, Droop. All right, so are you guys going to open that, that door there? Yeah, and we're, we're, we're bracing ourselves. I All got right, my so shield who, out, my sword. Who's opening the door? Who's going through? Uh, I would like the red brand. I'd like Flint Fairwin to open it. and uh, you know, <laughs> He could open it, and if something charges out, we'll be ready. All right, so you tell him to open the door? Yeah, Flynn, and I give him a little slap with Talon on the on the behind. I say, open up the door, lad. Slightly sexual. Slightly sexual, yes, yes. All right, so, uh, yeah, so he, um, he's like, uh, he kind of looks back at you, and he looks back at the door, and he's like, uh, I've never been through here before, uh, but okay. And he, <laughs> push, he pushes the doors open, uh, the double big uh, copper doors. And they swing wide open, and you're seeing, and what you see is um, a, a longer hallway. It's lit because there's like sort of torches or, or candles, uh, and the hallway is about ten feet wide. So it's a wider hallway than you've seen, and it kind of stretches out a good, uh, you know, thirty or forty feet towards um, the east. Um, um, I'll, I'll, I'll show this. Can I use divine <laughs> sense when we do that? Can you what? Can I use divine sense when we do that? Yeah. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Just grabbing a water. Yep. All right. So this is this is what you guys see. Um, and it is uh, a thick. Oh wait, I'll wait for Ponch. Can you hear me? I don't think you guys are aware of this. That's a. Thank God. Okay. Nah, I see it on the table. Thank God. Thank God. All right, so divine. All right, you're gonna do a divine sense. I'll yep, figure that out. I could detect any fiend, celestial, or dead. Sixty feet. Okay. That's not behind total cover. Okay, so Thornton kind of like bows down to one knee and like put folds his hands together and sort of like prays to his. Um, his deity to sort of give him a, a better awareness of any sort of um, supernatural or sort of evil threats in the area. And um, Thornton, you, you, you don't feel anything. You don't feel like any sort of like... Usually don't. Yeah. Yeah, usually you would feel like this like sort of like <laughs> pressure don't. or intensity if, <laughs> if something of those natures were around and it's it's pretty calm. What was that word that um, he said you say when the undead... I should have wrote it down, but... Do you guys remember it? What was it like, Melon or something? Melon? Ifrit? Ilifarn? Ilifarn. I, I yelled down the hall, Ilifarn! Ilifarn! <laughs> Nothing happens. Mm. It's like King's No. Mask. Yep, no, you... <laughs> nothing happens. Yeah, no, you, you yell that, and uh, there's nothing in response. Uh -huh. the, ruffian, uh, the ruffian moves into the room. Oop. Yeah, ruffian moves into the room to sort of make make room for the rest of you. How's the lighting in here? The lighting's decent. 
So it's, I mean, you can see all the way, uh, what, what I've shown all the way to the end of the hall. In fact, these little like, uh, bump outs here are the, like torches. So it's okay. like, Ben. Oh, cool. yeah. Right, let's keep moving. So there's okay. one door at the end of this hallway right here. Spargle, can you detect, uh, any sort of yeah. invisibility people or anything? It, it, it cuts to the right there, Will. Do you have like detect magic or something? You, he's muted. Ponch is muted, I think. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you mean just like in this area you're looking? <coughs> I guess for, yeah, for the foreseeable future, maybe. I don't know. Um, when I cast it, it's only for like... it's um, Like at this moment, right? Yeah. All right, like I so can walk with it for a little bit, but it's we'll not very it. long. Yeah, maybe we'll save it. All right. Uh, okay, so one second here. Um, so Thoradin kind of charges ahead of the group, uh, and as he gets to this central part of the hallway here, um, suddenly the floor just completely opens up. Oh, see you guys. As a design sort of oh, um, mechanism. Uh, you realize this isn't like the building falling apart, but this is actually a trap that. Oh, together. the rank! Gotta fight the rancor now. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you, uh, so you, let's see. Um, oh God! You have to roll a dexterity saving throw to see what if about you can Droop? catch oh, the edge instead of falling down. Does Droop put me at disadvantage? Why am I asking? Uh, this is no. This is gonna be interesting. 16. All right. So this floor falls out, but you, with your, like, quick little dwarven agility, you so manage to grab you manage to grab on to the little, like, the little bit of a one inch of an edge that's on the side, and you hold yourself up. You don't fall down into the, you look down below, it's about 20 foot drop into oh, this little just a pit. Uh, but then, uh, it, it, right after that, Droop, though, then no, goes no, no. right past you. No. And the weight of Droop, even though he's about 20 pounds, the weight starts to pull on you. Make a strength check. Oh, um, that could be a stupid knot was too strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know he did. <laughs> And you're holding on just by like two little stubby little dwarf fingers and this dumb doby ass house elf goblin just is enough weight to pull you off. Is it oh, as a reaction, can I dive forward and try and grab his hand? No. <laughs> okay. That's that's cool, but uh it's just like it's happening too fast. Uh I, I like that idea though but uh so oh. they they tumbled the two of them to the bottom of the pit uh you take uh so matt takes five damage from the fall and is at the bottom of 20 foot pit <sighs> and droop uh also takes some damage and he looks like all kind of banged up and he's like he stands up and he's like dazed uh, Thoradin is a little more like, ah, fuck, that sucked. But the, the Droop is like, holy shit, he almost killed him. <laughs> uh, he's just kind of like sitting there. And the two of them are now at the bottom of a pit in the middle of this hallway. What's the pit? Where's this at, Dan? Like, where's this? I'll draw, I'll draw it for you. Uh, <clears throat> so this green area has just fallen into the floor. Like, two big doors opened up, and it's a pit. And Thoradin and Droop are at the bottom of that pit. <clears throat> um, as I walk up and startled, I peek over the edge and I just see them 20 foot down in this pit. Yep. Down and I'm like, uh, Decker just kind of like, uh, <laughs> doesn't know what to say. His improv skills are a little off. Uh, <laughs> I I do pull out a rope 
from my uh, pack. And uh, I walk over to Edge and I'm like, I point at uh, Larrick and Decker and you guys, you guys are probably a little stronger. And I hold up my rope to you guys to. Hey, when he says stronger, I just look at Alaric and go. <laughs> and so Alaric grabs the rope, throws it down. Everybody easily gets up. Oh, uh, you, you got about 10 foot to get across the pit. Um, everybody make an athletics check. Oh, anybody that wants to, if anybody wants to do anything other than jump across the pit, which a 10 foot long jump isn't too difficult. Does anybody want to do something besides try to jump? I want a wall run. You're in a wall run. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to turn it into a dexterity run. check. No, no, yeah, yeah, no. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I support that because there's an edge on this to where the trap is. So. I don't fall again. So make a dexterity or athletic, or uh, make an athletics or acrobatics check, all of you. Oh my uh, god. So we... What the fuck? I thought this was going to be easy. The DC was a 10. So, <laughs> Deckard, so everybody, the, so all of the group, like, goes back about 10 feet to get a running jump across this pit that should be relatively easy. Deckard does this little, like, fucking matrix move along the side wall and just lands on the other side. All three of the other people just jump into the pit and just fucking just whiff the other side of the edge oh and land God. in the bottom of the pit. So so I did, so Decker did uh, Neo in the lobby seat with all the gunfighting, running on walls. You guys did the jump program. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Alaric, you take four damage. Uh, Spargo, you take six. Oh. And Thornton, you take 12. Oh. Oof. Oh, no. That's super bad. Yeah. And uh, Deckard then manages to get... Oh, and Droop, because he's dragged down by <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Thornton. Yeah. yeah. He's, he he's, hits the ground and his head splits open. And he starts <laughs> out. All right. So I just cut that fucking rope. I just fucking cut it. It doesn't matter anymore. You can leave him there for dead or you can give him a healing potion and he'll come back. No, sorry, man. <laughs> no, he ran. He ran out his fucking usefulness. That guy. <laughs> All right. So you guys cut the rope and leave Droop just bleeding uh, out in the bottom of the pit. How many potions do I, I have? I would. Left? I'm not giving I mean, that I, guy a fucking potion. I don't like goblins, but I'm, I'm at the top looking down at you. I'm like, if this guy can get us to the Cragmall Castle, yeah, could be useful. I mean, I'm about to die. <laughs> All right, let me give this little rotten piece of shit a potion. All right, take it off your inventory. I uh, actually, I go. Go ahead. Never mind. I thought I had more than one. Do you have a potion you could throw down? I do. Yeah. You know what? I take a potion of healing, and I uh worried you're gonna drop it i drop it down to to uh can you put it on a rope and lower it i look at hope Mender and i'm about to drop it to him and then i look over at a lark and i go and i toss it to a lark uh, a, a healing potion lark i told you your damage right four damage okay yep. uh yeah so lark making a dexterity check to catch the potion Oh, no. Um, yeah, so the potion falls to the ground. Oh, fuck. Can I lick the ground where it's at? Like, can I get hit some of it? Like, uh... <laughs> No? It doesn't work like that? Once it's exposed to air, it's no good? No, no, that's it. It just soaks into the ground. Uh, alright, well, I... So, I had two potions. I give fucking droop one. Okay. So do I have to roll for that? Or... Yeah, roll the roll the whatever it was. Or what did you roll for that? Because you're the DM. No, you no you can no you can roll it. You're administering it. Uh, it's two D 
four plus, plus two. Plus two, okay. Two D plus two. Three. Okay. Oh, uh, no, that was only one D four. Did it? Oh, so just yeah. roll another one? Mm hmm. Sure. So add one more. Okay, so four. He took four. All right, so uh, yeah, you you uh, you give um, you, you pour the healing potion down, and Drew <coughs> he like coughs and gets back up, and he looks up at you, and he's like, "Oh, I'm alive again." <laughs> and that's yeah. Um, I uh, like, so I'm assuming like there's like a metal sconce on the wall that these torches are sitting in. Uh huh. I tie off a rope to the sconce. <clears throat> Like the metal that where it attaches to the wall, and I throw it down and let everybody crawl up it. Yeah, crawl up it. Yep. Hey, good. Throw it in. How much? Are you in better shape now? Uh, well, I gave my health potion to the goblin. Um, uh, I ain't doing too good, if you know what I mean. Although, but everybody gets up to the other side of the pit. Okay because of Deckard's uh, contraption. So we're good there. Uh, what about yeah. the red brand dude? What happened? What about him? He's still standing over on the other side and he's like, uh, Hey, we're, we good. You guys good. I'm, 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 I'm going to just leave. Uh, so Deckard's is not so fast. Asshole, yeah. And he loads up his crossbow. <laughs> no, I li you literally did. Like, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Finish it. You do it. I was like, <coughs> no, I, I draw my bow and I say, you're not going anywhere. Uh, and he starts inching for the door, and he's looking to make a move for it. And I fire. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll. Oh, God. Flynn Fairwin. <laughs> oh, by Flynn. It's oh. a hit. Roll damage. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I've rolled a one on my D6 all day. All right, so he's inch, he's like kind of going for the door, and you shoot him once in the shoulder. He's like, "Ah, fuck!" And he he looks around. Anybody else gonna do anything? I'll throw a rock at him. <laughs> All right, make a. Uh, you don't have a rock. Please. I wander up towards the. I wander up towards the edge, and I go, "You killed Pop!" <laughs> <laughs> I shoot a fireball. All right, go ahead and roll that. <laughs> That's a spell attack, right? Yeah. You kill pops. <laughs> it's a hit. So the firebolt goes flying across the top of that pit, sort of illuminates it as it's going across, and you see the big darkness below, and it hits hits this ruffian and blasts him into the door that he was trying to open. Rah. And he kind of falls into the door, and now he's on fire, and he's but he's still like able to like he's getting his way through the door. I'll give anybody one last attack at, uh, or he's through the door. I don't can know. I attack again? Um, I, can I chuck a javelin at him? Chuck a javelin if you have one. Yeah. Oh, I got him. Oh, he's got in the doorway, and you're only thirty feet away. You, Great you throw tonight. the javelin. Great you rolls. throw the javelin, but it it uh, you know it, it 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 you're trying to keep it low, so he ca catches him in the doorway, and you actually throw it into the pit, and it kind of lands in the pit right in front of him, and uh, doesn't reach him. Um, and and at that, the he kind of backs up through the door and um, disappears. Okay. If he's, he's gonna come you want to, if you, you want to try to go after him, you can, or you can continue down this hallway. So is he doing more normal movement speed? You'd assume, or it could be running. He could, I mean, he's, you assume he's running as fast as he possibly can. Hey yeah. Dan, I have a, a a potion, a healing potion. Can I give that to Thornton? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so I hand that over to you. I just give, I tap you on the belly. Oh yeah. Oh, and I and I'm like here. Oh great! Uh, let's see. Uh, who's it, whoever's administering it has to roll, right? <laughs> oh really? Oh well, I'm drinking it, right? So I mean. Either way. Yeah. Either way. I don't care. Do it also. So let's go see. for it. Sure. Roll it's your own heal. Four plus two. Okay. Cool. 
six. All right, cool. Thank you, Spargo. I feel better already. All right, so this room is empty now. Um, there was nothing else really to see, nothing besides the big pit in the middle of the room. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, yep. I, yeah, I look, I look around at the group. See that we got a few people really beat up, but just shake my head and move forward. Okay, you open this door, and you see this door opens into a five foot wide landing, fifteen feet above a large cellar. Uh, stone steps <laughs> descending to the floor in two short flights. Uh, so you're kind of above the room, and there's like, I'll show you what it looks like here. So you see this, and so you, what you're seeing is. Um, these like sort of you're on this landing like right where Thoradin is there's this landing and there's steps that kind of go up this way let me see if I can draw this yeah the stairs going down yeah so this goes like up and, and towards a door got it or they go down into this room uh Deckard enters the room and he sees uh and, and a large stone cistern occupies the western part of the room whose walls are lined with kegs and barrels also, in the middle of the room, or at the cistern, scrant like kneeled over in the water, like digging through the water. So a cistern's like a big tub, right up like water that's flowing in where they would like fill buckets and like drink from and whatever. But leaning over and like frantically sort of like digging through the water is this uh, robed um, fella. Bob Feller? Uh, he's got like these green, uh, these like bright green, very elegant looking robes. Uh, no, no like hood or, or helmet or anything on. He's got like black hair um, with like a, a longer sort of well-groomed uh, sort of beard, um, like black beard that kind of comes down. Um, he's got sort of like beady eyes and he's kind of like looking up and he looks up and he looks terrified when he sees Deckard. Um, and he spins back around from the tub that he was spinning over. And you see in one hand, he's got this really thick, elegant sort of glass staff. <gasps> uh, and he, he looks up at you uh, and he looks startled. And go ahead and roll initiative. Oh, shit. I walk in, I go, hey, fellas, it's glass ass. Hey, d <laughs> <laughs> it's glass. It's glass ass. Oh no, are we at the last boss? Is this it? Why I was hesitant to... Oh, whoops. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> that is a hell of a roll, man. I, I pulled wow. a you are definitely going first. <laughs> Sorry. 19 for me. Oh my god. I... Rolls are not in our favor tonight. Single digit Sally, call me. Oh, Lark, you got a 20? Yes, sir. Thornton got a 57, so... <laughs> so he gets four that. turns before the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lark, Deckard... Oh, Spargle. Who, who do you... Which of those... Which of you two want to go first? Deckard or Spargle, you guys decide. Um... The... You Spargle roll first, first, I don't care. I'll let you pick. I'll go. Se I'll go second, third. I'll go after Sparkle. I got a okay. score to settle with this asshole. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dan, uh, where's you? Yeah. I'm getting there. Hold on. Oh, sorry. You, you missed it last night, Matt. When I, when I first had his talk as Roland, I did it in a in Deckard's <laughs> voice. I was like, oh shit, I'm mixing up my campaigns. <laughs> All right. We all good? You guys see all that? Yeah, maybe we could reason with him first. Like, I would just like to... I don't know. Is it cool we do that? You can send six charisma to do it. We're going to fight. Can we just have a quick rest first? Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. Hey, can we... 
Can we grab a snack here by the stairs before <laughs> anything happens? Can we, can we grab a snack? Before we do this. <laughs> before we do this shit. I like to eat before I kill motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm sure you do too. Came here to do two things. Eat, kill people. I'm all out of food. <laughs> Uh, all, right. Uh, all right, let's see. Okay, so Alaric, uh, it, so Deckard bails, bursts into this room, uh, and he yells back that he thinks he found glass ass or whatever. And so you, you, you come in and you also see this uh, robed uh, sort of mage kind of standing in front of this pool of water and looking up at Deckard. What would you like to do? Um... I'm gonna charge up to him, oh, and I'm gonna use uh, my bonus action to pop my whatever the fuck it's called, battle rage, ba b yeah. ra rage. So I'm gonna Get use it. I'm gonna use that, and Get I'm it. going to swing at him with my greatsword uh, very recklessly. Love it. Uh-oh. Are you shitting ah. my ass? Wow. So that's a double whiff, right? Dan, you're muted. I'm muted? Yeah. You, you, you were. Right All right. Sorry. Jeez. All right. So, uh, yeah. You, you come you come swinging at him. Uh, the first one, you, you kind of whiff. Um... Wait, so what did you do that? You rolled with advantage, right? Uh-huh. Did the video quality drop for anybody else, or is it just me? No, I'm good. No, I'm, I'm good. good. Uh, Dan. maybe a little bit. Will's is, Will and Dan's are kind of crappy. Yeah, Dan's pixelated for me. He looks uh, like he's... It must like be something with Discord. Webcam. We can change it to US East. Try that. Maybe they See what that does. Looks like it worked, asshole. <laughs> what in the Sam Hill? What in the Sam Hill? What in the Sam Hill? <laughs> All right, so Lark, explain, explain what you're doing again. You kind of came in. What am I doing? Uh, I tried to hit the, the big badass there. boss wizard guy, and I whiffed twice <laughs> hard. Yeah, so you had two attacks, and you whiffed both of them. Yep. Um, your, your second one two. Uh, got close. No, I had two. I had, rolled with advantage. Oh, it was one, it's one swing? Yeah, that was just my okay. attack. Uh, yeah, you, you missed, but you also noticed that even though you missed, you, you see this like little spark of light as you got as your blade got even close to him, and it kind of deflected off of um, the, the mage. He's got one um, of those gay shields. So, Spargle, it's your turn. Um, all right. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 20. Uh... <laughs> Just, I can see him from here, right? I have clear view. Here. Yeah, actually, you have the higher ground at that point, so you're okay. like up, up on a sort of uh, raised platform. Always, yeah, that steps always, down. Yeah, um, let's see. We, we confirm that it, that is glass step. It's not like a phantasm or something. Oh, you don't know. Right. He has a he has, he has name tag on. Group's gonna know. That's who's gonna know. Watch this. <laughs> oh, that's him. Yeah, that's him. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna try Tasha's hideous laughter. Laughter. Ooh, what is that? I like, like that. it. Tell me what it is. Uh, I, a creature I can see within range uh, perceives everything as hilariously funny and falls into a fit of laughter after the spell affects it. So he's got to save on a wisdom uh, 14, Dan. Okay, um, got it. But we, if it takes damage, it knocks him out of it. So we may have to... All right, I'll just pee it on him instead. Yep. Okay, uh, so it's a DC 14? Yeah. Yeah. We rolled a natural 20. <laughs> Fuck. This guy's um, dick. 
So uh, Spargle kind of comes running past Deckard, stands up on the top of the balcony, and starts casting this goofy spell and making some chittering noises. Uh, and uh, and Glassstaff looks up at him, sort of almost knowingly, and just sort of and and just waves his hand and ah. looks oh. back at a Alar- looks back at Alaric and brings the staff in front of him and kind of holds it up. You Deckard, bad. It's your turn. I roll down here. Right next to him, and I have my short sword, twirl it around, and strike him. All right. Roll an attack. Son of a bitch. So your short sword comes out, and you slash pretty, pretty, you know, directly at him, but you see that same thing, like this little bit of a a spark or flash of light and it almost seems to like push your sword away uh and you don't you don't strike been right back around with my crossbow oh Oh my my god God. and then again same thing like you you bring your crossbow bolt up and and you the bolt's coming right at him but it glances off with this little flash of light as the bolt kind of just reloading roll 20. (laughs) does that does that work is that is that a thing Shit rolls. Uh, that's it. Um, okay. Yep. No, I'm sorry. All right. Good. So he's gonna kill everyone. That's good. So he's he's gonna use meteor and just kill everyone. <laughs> meteor. <laughs> Knights of the round and just end everybody's life here. Sorry, I gotta W W summon Knights of the Round. Rest. Yeah, that's it. Seven times. I'll just go take a So Glassstaff um Gives up. Gives up. No. Um Glassstaff uh, does does two things. So um, the first thing he does. Oh, it is Glassstaff, right? I hope I didn't. Did I share that? Oh yeah, I'm not yeah. looking. Oh. I'm not looking. Get rid of it. All I saw was Misty Step. That's all I saw. That's lame. It doesn't matter because it, it'll explain what he's doing. It's fine. All right, so uh, Glassstaff reaches out with one hand. He holds his staff up here, like up to his side, and he touches Alaric in the chest. Oh, he no. Makes this, he makes this incantation. Uh, make a wisdom savings throw. Adam. You're going to turn into a piece of broccoli. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, he, he, so he's he's kind of making this weird motion with his hands as he like touches touches your chest and he's saying some arcane things and you suddenly feel every every muscle in your body tense up and you're completely paralyzed and unable to move. Oh. At that point, he looks up at his staff and just kind of like pops it one time, and he instantaneously moves. He teleports. He uses what's called misty step uh, to this back sort of corner of the uh, of the room. <laughs> All right, Thoradin, it's your turn. <clears throat> All right, Droop. I think Glassstaff is in here. Let's make a move. <laughs> 50, 20. Okay, so that's my 20. Uh, so I say to Droop, I said, Droop, that's him in the corner. Is that Glassstaff? All right, he's like right here behind you. Um, Droop looks over and he sees Glassstaff and he looks at you and you see his eyes start like. No, 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 no. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, so I grab Droop by the shoulder and I say, lad, this is what we've been working for. I believe in you. I believe that you can do it. Are you with me or not? He looks at you and he says, "If, if we kill the wizard, Droop goes free. Of course you go free, lad. 
He grabs that jab, he grabs that spear, and he fucking hurls it. Oh right no! Stuff. No, no! <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's what he does. <laughs> no! No! Tell me no. that. <laughs> you guys can't hit him, but the goblin does! Alright, so <laughs> you're like, there's no way he's like dragging behind Thoradin, he's barely standing up, he he hears this like, hey, I can be freed, and he's way across the room, he's gonna throw over Alaric and over these barrels, and but this spear just fucking just spirals like Tom Brady style right into this right into glass staff's shoulder blade um and and you hear him howl out he said foul creature you don't attack me and he and he he lunges back as as you see a bunch of sort of blood start oozing out of where this spear (laughs) that's perfect that is fantastic <laughs> Wait, so how much damage did he do? I'm sorry, I was looking that shit up. Uh he did uh he did, you know, it's a weak little goblin with a spear, so he did some damage. But he hit he hit nice. It just So we confirmed that he he drew blood like Drago in the Rocky Four fight. Like he's he's cut. He's bleeding. That's right. That's right. You see, he's not a machine, he's a man. He's cut. You heard him. <laughs> Um, so I give Droop a high five and a big bear hug, and I squeeze him really hard, and, uh, I say, good job, lad, but you stink. You gotta take a shower after these. But that's all right. <laughs> and that's, that's about it. <laughs> Wait, I'm <laughs> sorry, I, lo- I lost some sound there for a second. What happened? Oh, no, I gave him a big bear hug, and I said he stinks, and he needs to shower after this. All right. smelled, I've smelled some pretty <laughs> rotten things lately, but he smells pretty bad. So... <laughs> But when Droop saw the spear sink into the uh, the wizard, he looked scared for a second, like he expected himself to just instantly disintegrate. Uh, but then all of a sudden has like this confidence, like, wow, I damaged the mighty Glassstaff. Uh, uh, so then um, I do a slash uh, rude to Glassstaff. So I do one of these. All right. <laughs> uh, and then I turn around and like in Braveheart and I go, <laughs> uh, sorry for your twitch, Adam. And Glassstaff <laughs> continues to like snarl, and he, and he he's he's still holding up this glass staff of his. Yeah, all right, that's my turn. That's all I can do. All right, Drew. Uh, oh no, it was that. Uh, so Laric, it's your turn. Oh, uh, so you are um, <laughs> currently held. You're Caesar. Uh, <laughs> you can you can make a wisdom saving throw at the end of each of your turn, but otherwise you are frozen in that spot. Okay, so I would like to do that. <clears throat> you can't move or speak. You automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws. Attacks against you have advantage. Uh, yeah, that's it. So can I attack? You can attack with anything range that you have. Oh, okay. Then I'm gonna throw a javelin at him. All right, Night King. Wait, All right, Night King. King. Let's see what you got. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold on a second. You're incapacitated. Let me see what that means. Oh no, you're fucked. Okay. An incapacitated creature can't take actions or reactions. So I can so roll can my roll. my you can roll your safe wisdom wisdom save. Yep. Oh my lord. Have fun with, have fun with the fights, dice. guys. Yeah, so you you, you 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 feel yourself just bound by this mystical energy, and you're like kind of struggling against it, but it's just like you you just can't break free. The power, yeah, it's too strong. All right, Sparkle, it's your turn. Um. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> And I'm going to do a uh, chromatic orb, level two. Um, so 
Yeah, so I, I run over there and I go, I tell, uh, I, I look at Dink Bag and I go, let's scorch him. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, mm -hmm. roll. Come on. Fuck. Everything is not rolling well tonight, man. Yeah, uh, so you, you, you know, you're, you kind of got a weird line of sight on him uh, where he's at anyhow. And uh, you just. Uh, oh, the... do I from there? Yeah, but uh, it, I mean, it didn't cause you any disadvantage other than your crappy roll. So uh, you just hit a barrel and it catches fire and glass staff kind of snarls. Miscalculation. Deckard, your turn. I move up right up in his face. Swing that short sword around and attack him. Whoops. I don't know how that... What the hell? No, that was super weird. That was really weird. So what is... I don't know what the hell, just... I was just roll, roll on, just try another attack roll. What did that give me? I mean, was that a two? I don't know what it did. I think you rolled a two plus... Yeah, I rolled an eight, so I missed. You missed. Okay. Yep, so you roll over and you swing a short sword but miss. <laughs> fucking believable. We are having, like... Finally, a fucking hit with something. All right, that's your crossbow? Yeah. All right. All right, so you miss with your short sword, but you uh, you hit with this crossbow, and it, it kind of uh, digs in pretty deep and kind of sticks in his shoulder, and he again kind of snarls and says... Uh, he looks at you and he goes, uh, Hey... And holds, he's still holding the staff up. And he's got his other hand kind of out and ready to to go here. But he, he's looking at you, Deckard, after taking that crossbow bolt. He's like, hey, hey, we can make a deal here. Certainly we can come to some terms. Did did anybody else's audio crap out there? Mine yeah, did. For a few seconds. Yeah. Do you didn't hear me then? Uh, I heard, let's make a deal. Yeah, that's all I heard. Yeah. He, he, basically, he's saying, like, he's still holding up his staff. He's not putting his defenses down, but he's like, hey, surely Link we can come to established. Mic off. He's talking to you, Deckard. Um, what kind of terms are we talking? It says, uh, I value my life. But, uh, whatever you want is yours if I keep my life. Well, what, what, what's down here? What might we want? It looks like you've taken it all. You've been through my chambers. You've been, you've killed my eye monster. There's nothing left for me. I'm just going to leave Fandolin. I've, I've, you've defeated me. Can I help you guys? No, we might need your help. You ain't leaving. We'll spare your life, but you're going to help Craig Maw Castle. Ah, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know the way to Craig Maw Castle. The uh, the goblin does. I've only to... got, gotten correspondence from it. Uh, I've seen maps. I can probably draw you a map, but I've never been there. How about to the Black Spider? Uh, the Black Spider, I, I think he's... We've never seen the Black Spider. We get our orders and we follow him. Who brings you your orders? Uh, his minions, these these butt bear, these goblins. Hey, if there's one thing I learned from Lord of the Rings, it's take the wizard's staff. Matt, I can't see you. I don't know if you turn your camera off. Um... What about now? Yep, I yeah, now I see you. Um We came a long way to find you. I got a, a little bit of coin waiting for me if I show up with your head. I'm trying to find a good reason not to bring it. You want to learn more about the black spider? Take a staff. What do you What do you know? I know he's one of the uh, 
the the elves right. that come from below the earth, the drow as they call them. Hmm. I know he yep. commands the bugbears. The bugbears are who he sends here to sort of help us sort of maintain chaos in Phandalin. I know he's desperately after the the uh, wave echo cave, which I have no interest in. <laughs> as long as I keep getting paid and making quite a lucrative endeavor out of maintaining this this uh, this disruption in the area, I'm happy with my end of the deal. I can make you guys a little rich out of uh, this side of the deal as well, if you were willing to join and replace the red brands, as you would call them, who you've so inconveniently dispatched for me. I'm gonna need some help in drawing the, the wealth out of this region, and I would make it very lucrative for your you and your companions. What does Spargle have to say about this? Yeah, Spargle, what do you think? Weren't you, aren't you, aren't you the one that was like, yeah, out for I'm blood with really this glass staff? Um, because I think he's bad, and he I know I have to take his head, but I, I, I also have... Um, I don't know if I can... Let me ask you this, Dan. Am, are we allowed, since while we're having conversation, is this kind of a break-in initiative? Am I able to do anything? Yeah, I've sort of paused combat, unless anybody takes an action, or if... Yarno decides he's going to just resume. I was going to just move yeah. up. Yarno has the next move, basically. Oh, so I can't move or anything. Um, what what, what are you trying to do? I are you honestly moving to I, talk to him, or are you moving to get into a like combat position? I'm 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 going to unleash a shot at him. Okay. Um. Like, without just, you know, I mean, like, or without, like, word or answer or to anyone. Okay, just, okay, that's fine. I'll let you do that. Um, go ahead. All right. I'm letting loose. Uh, Everybody uh, besides Spargle had sort of stopped to parlay a bit, and then out of nowhere, you guys see the gnome kind of make a move. And go ahead. What is it that you do? The other, my chromatic orb. Okay. And so I'm letting loose a fireball, and I, I, you just see me. My, I'm this time. I don't even talk. I'm just like, nah, nah. And, then, and I just <laughs> like, launch. Okay. And then so yeah, as everybody's talking to Glass Staff, this uh, this, and he's holding his his Glass Staff up in the air. Uh, right underneath him comes this big ball of, of fire that hits him like right kind of in the armpit uh go ahead and roll your damage all right holy cow that was a crocus roll you rolled 48 yeah um this ball of fire just strikes him under here and just immediately catches his robes on fire. He 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 falls down onto one side. He's still holding the, the glass staff in his one hand and he's holding up and he's like, I submit. He goes, I will he goes, take any and everything. And he drops his staff to the ground. And he's just he's laying there on the ground, just arms up like I just Complete, he's completely submissive at this point. So and I kneel down. Smoldering and looks really fucked up. I kneel down and I like to where I'm kind of like, you know, my arms on my, my forearms on my knees, like crossbow dangling daggers. I look at him and. Well, the first thing you can do is release my friend over there. Seems like he's having trouble moving. He's eating potato chips, it looks like. <laughs> Pop popcorn. Uh, oh, yeah. That's only because you got one shoe on. Um, at that, he breaks his concentration. And okay. Alaric, you see Alaric's just body just kind of resume its normal kind of um, 
stance. Stance, and he's now freed. And I say, uh, now, I don't know about you thinking you're just going to walk out of here. You're going to help us, and you're going to stick along with us as long as we need you. I don't see that you have any room here to bargain for anything. We've just raided your whole compound. We've killed all your men. What the hell can you offer us? He says, and he, and he, and he now seems to, like, in a, like a Loki-esque kind of manner, says, what is it that you desire? I'm a man of great resources and connections, and I'm more than happy to barter for my life to make you rich or achieve your your desires. My friend Deckard likes horses. Can you get him a bunch of them? <laughs> I can procure the finest horses in the region. I already what got the finest horse in the region. Don't worry about horses. that. Kick his ass, Seabass. Can you procure uh, your head? <laughs> He looks down at, at uh, the gnome kind of like curiously and oddly and just kind of brushes that statement off. Uh, hey, Spargo, could you use that staff that the wizard has? I, and definitely. Uh, let us get done with it. Let me chop his head off. You can pick it up, Spargo. All right. Wait, before you do Wander that. Over there and pick it up. Oh, God. He's not gonna turn into fucking Lich King, is he? Yeah, what if it's like the <laughs> sword and blade and it just like fucking like you touch it and it's not yours, so it like explodes in your hand just like <laughs> maybe we should like use maybe detect magic on it first or something. I don't know. Can any of us do that? You can. What do you wanna do? Yeah, what if you turn into like a frog or some shit? I mean I like you as a frog, but I like you as an home better. I alright, so should I, I mean, Dan, can I inspect it? Oh, yeah. I'll do a detect magic. Yes. Detect yeah. yeah, yeah, do that. Adam, get me some barbecue chips. It's <laughs> thumbs up again. Uh, yeah, I do de detect magic as a ritual. Okay. Uh, hold on one second. As a ritual, doesn't ritual take more time? Mm -hmm. I can, I can just, I'll just cast it. Okay, yeah. Why don't you just cast yeah, it? Yeah, we ain't going nowhere. Uh, okay. I don't know why, but oh yeah. So um, you detect that this uh, staff is certainly magic, um, and it ha it emanates a uh, aura of abjuration. Uh, yeah, abjuration. Yeah. I I pick it up. Oh god. Okay. So you now own this uh until we have time to identify it, we'll call it a glass staff. <clears throat> um What did I miss? Uh, Spargle picked up the staff. Spargle now owns the glass staff, and the glass staff, or Erno, is sort of laying on the ground and just begging for his life. Droops um, with you. Can I drink from the fountain? Can I? Uh, can I drink? You can. Uh, uh, make a perception check. Okay, I'll do that. Um... Hey, good roll. So you you did you reach in to like grab a, a, a splash of water for your face, uh, and you you notice that sort of um, fixed inside of the um, the pool of water, the cistern is a leather satchel, and you grab it and and pull it out. You want to open it? Uh, I say uh... it, was on a, it was on a piece of rope that was kind of like hanging under the water. I say, hey, sissy girl lizard boy, what's in your little satchel? You say that to Glassstaff? Yeah. He looks at it, and he sees that you have that leather satchel, and he just 
but his head droops like one last bit of defeat. Yeah, why didn't you say anything about this? He just shakes his head. He says, uh, that was my, uh, that was my getaway pack. Yeah, so I push Sparkle and Deckard to the side. And I uh, undo my belt, and I just start. <laughs> I start peeing on glass staff. <laughs> yeah. such a, he's such a typically dignified person. He is. Exactly, I don't like it. And, and he's and... just like holding his face and just piss is running off of his hands. And he's, <laughs> hey, he stops hey, moving. He's just 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 like dripping. Hey, and he's Droop. just completely defeated. Droop, come over here. You got to take a, a piece or what with your little winky? Come here. <laughs> And Droop walks over, and he's all really nervous and uncertain, everything that's going on. I mean, down on, on his knees is this, like, tyrant overlord yeah. that he's feared yeah. for months. And these people he's met a half hour ago, and he doesn't know what's going on, and he looks at you like, what? Yeah, Droop, do you know who, the, Droop, do you know who this is? Do you hey. know who this lad is? As I'm holding my cock in one hand, <laughs> I'm just looking at him. Hey, that's, that's the wizard. That's the evil wizard. Yeah, yeah, take a piss on him. Well, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Dan, real quick, I did send you a Slack message. Oh, got it. Okay, cool. Uh, so, um, yeah. I can say it out loud, or I, you know what I mean? I, it, I didn't know if that's one of those. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can go outside of your out of that because of because of the extreme nature of the thing. If that makes sense. Okay. I think um, you're more more motivated to do what you want to do than what you're. Oh, is that Dr. Do, Pepper? I would say. No, it's raspberry brisket. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> and then I have corn pup. Oh man, I got sausage and. It's the things that like melt in your mouth. Stupid apples. Like pirate's booty from Costco. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chromatic orb him. But this is only a level one. Uh, wait, okay, I'm sorry. So hold on. So we're back in a combat now because you did that thing. So uh, uh, it's glass. It's actually glass staff's turn. He's on the ground. He doesn't have his staff anymore. Oh, uh, I need to fix my pants, I guess. Or... Um, 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 he's covered um, in urine and goblin piss. I mean, it's not good. So, um, he, uh, he kind of like draws his, um, hands towards himself. Like he's getting pissed on and he's like this, but you see him, <laughs> but, but, but you see him in a last ditch sort of effort. He puts his hands together and he's mumbling something and suddenly his body shimmers and he again, misty steps and you see him reappear still on the on the ground covered in piss and kind of shaking but getting to his now getting up standing upright right by the front door uh and uh i'm gonna that was thorn and a droop's turn so lark it's now your turn and you are no longer held you it's see you just saw everybody's pissing all over glass staff he threw his he threw his thing down um and then he did the he did his like weird teleporting shimmering thing and he reappeared about 15 feet in front of you by the doorway at the top of the stairs. So it's about 10, 15 feet above you. Swing away, Meryl. Get him. Sw throw the javelin at him. Are you muted or are you just thinking? I was muted. I'm sorry. Uh, I said I'm uh, going to charge at him and I'm going to attack him with my great sword recklessly. Can you attack from below there? Is that... No, but I think one, two, three, four. Oh, five, how six, how? Seven, uh, five, six. Yeah, I think you can one, two, three, four, five, six. I think you, you can get right here. You're rushing yeah. upstairs. You were you were right here. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can get right here. Right next to glass, though. Okay. <clears throat> So, so Alaric suddenly comes free and you, he sees, you know, he can, you can tell that he can move again and he starts charging up the stairs with your great staff out or great sword out. Yes, sir. Uh, are you doing anything else? Any raging or frenzying? Or you I'm just still currently raging. Oh, you're still currently raging? Okay. Mm -hmm. So 20, 25 to hit. Okay. You hit him. You'd come running up and just rip right through this like small robed human. 
Get him! Get him, Alaric. Take him down. Oh, he's so dead. And he drops to the ground. And the sword carves deep, and he just like he was he was so weak already. He just his body gives out, his consciousness slips away, and he falls to the ground. You know, like just a pile of robes, and that's it. And blood just sort of pools out. He's definitely dead. All right, let's cut his head off. Sparkle, you want the honors? <clears throat> uh, sure. Sparkle, you're a fucking idiot. Droop starts. <laughs> Droop jumps up. Is beat up and skinny and scrawny as he is, and he literally hugs Thorden. He says, "The bad wizard's dead. I, I you are the heroes. You <laughs> saved Drew." All right, you know, jump in the pool, take a shower, you stinky bastard. Ah, uh, and then he he and, and he says, uh, "You go to Cragmaw Castle. Droop show you way." Yeah. You are powerful enough to beat the Kragmaws and save Droop's family. Uh, and save your family, we will. He looks really happy, although he knows you're fucking lying. <laughs> did, did anything else glow when I did the detect magic by the staff? Uh, this, there, was a, there was a glow from the satchel as well. That, that uh, uh, he was starting to, that, uh, who pulled that out? Or that Thornton. Thornton. Yeah. Okay. So I just tell Thornton that there's magic in there. Ooh, all right. Let me leech in and see what we have. Uh, you see two vials, one full of a red liquid and one that looks like it's empty, even though it's got a cork on top of it. There's also 50 gold pieces and a clean set of some elegant clothing. Hmm. You can tell that I'm really not happy about this about doing this but i go over and i i pull out my dagger and i start i cut off some of uh his cloak glass staffs and to try to make like a bag and pop his head in it i honestly was on my way over there to try and cut his head off too Ooh. whatever you, you're so who's doing the honors whoever i you know all right, roll an attack. Well, I mean, I mean, in his Whoever, whoever's decapitating him, roll an attack. So here's the thing: if I get the head, Sparkle ain't getting it. Oh, wow! Are we gonna have another stab in the leg moment? Why? Why do you want the head, Decker? Yeah, why it's do you going, want the head? It's going to the town's master first, so we can get paid. We're taking out the red brands. You no, need the head for that. Yeah, you need the head for that. Surely, uh, you could use the staff as like proof. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I mean, if you want to show it to somebody first, uh, like, I, I, if we're talking about it, I, I mean, I don't know if that's your intentions necessarily. That's, I guess, you know what I mean? Right. So, if you just start making off with it, I then I, I'll probably say, well, hey, I need that. Uh-oh. Well, who, who's yeah. taking his head off? I don't think we've decided. I, I don't just want to do it. Well, you're like, standing right next to him. You're right next so. to him. So, I mean, you would get the first. How about you just do half each? All right. You, you buy both <laughs> Deckard and Spargo roll initiative. Okay. <laughs> Blackman shows up. <laughs> it's uh, me the whole time. <laughs> sorry. Hang on. There's no quicker way to switch dice, I assume, with this, right? Um, I always use my last ten rolls. They always tend to be the same. All right, Decker, uh, you get to do something first. So you're standing right next to the now dead glass staff. Uh, if you want to do something, do it. So I take my short sword out and just clean right through. All right, make an attack roll. Neck. With advantage. On a corpse? Yeah, it's not moving, so you have advantage. Uh, okay. Ugh. All right. So, yeah, with with the uh, with 
yeah, you just take it <laughs> like nice, clean, almost looks fake. Just when you hold this head up, it's just such a sur surgical precision cut. Uh, barely bleeds, uh, and you have Ierno's head now uh, in your possession. Um, I'm just carrying it by the hair. Okay. And so I look over at Spargle. I say. No, and we'll get this head when we get paid. I promise. Oh, okay, but I need that head before the full moon. That's fair. Even if the town's master takes it, I'll kill him and get it back. <laughs> nice. Uh, so uh, Droop continues to jump up and down, and he says, uh, yeah, let's let's go kill the Kragma. King Grohl, let's kill him. We're showering uh, you, in this pool, you, by the you way. Save all of, you saved Droop family. Me and Droop are bathing uh, in the... Uh... So, why don't we... Okay, you guys now have Iarno's head in your possession, and Droop has offered to, to show you the way to Cragmaw Castle. Uh, it sounds like you guys might want to cash in uh, with the town folk, or clean up, or rest, or something. Um, A rest would be good. I also, before we rest, I tell... I look at uh, Thoradin. Yeah. I hold up the head, the head to him, and I say, uh, "Hey, Hope Mander. Yes, I think what? I just got. I think I just got our payment for your bottle of wine." Ha <laughs> ha! There you go, <laughs> lad. I can't wait to drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I don't know how. Droop will be received in town, so I don't want to end. I don't want to like just go to the tavern, but I, I want to kind of end it here. So, um, should we do a rest here? Yeah, we really. Yeah. Why don't we do? Why don't we sit, assume that things are quiet here and you guys are resting in this cellar because you're so beat up? Uh, mm -hmm. And then we'll we'll pick up the next session if you want to go back to the Stonehill Tavern or Inn or whatever. Uh, or if you want Droop to take you to the Cragmaw Castle or something else, uh, we'll be ready for any of that. Is it a long so, rest or a short rest? Yeah, this will be a long rest. Oh, thank God. Yep. Okay. This will be a long rest. We'll call it here. You guys can do fireside chat. You can talk to Droop if you want. And then next time we'll either head back into town or wherever you guys want to go. Hey, how come my hit points went down when I took a uh, long rest? You're what? You shouldn't go down. My hit points went from 32 to 25. Really? Yeah. That's hmm. weird. Did you have temporary hit points or something? Not that I know of. I didn't. Uh... I don't know. All right, well, the group has successfully sort of rooted out the red brands from their main hideout. That'll All be right. huge. That'll be huge for the villagers of Phandalin. Um, Droop seems to be sort of a, a, a sketchy <clears throat> sort of companion who knows the way to Cragmont Castle. Uh, Glassstaff's dead. Um... Spargle has Glassstaff's staff, and uh, Deckard has Glassstaff's head. Pretty, pretty um, successful evening for the group. That'll be a sick so, weapon. Yeah, yeah and um, after the long rest, uh, Spargle, I will, I will, you'll, you'll have enough time. To, you'll have spent enough time with the staff that I'll, I'll add it to your inventory. It's, it's called a staff of, of defense. So you can probably look it up right now and add it. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So good. We can we can kind of call it there, and we're doing a long rest here in this cellar room. Uh, it's quiet, so we can you know you guys can talk to Droop if you want, and we'll pick up from here next time. Cool. 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 And I'm gonna shut nice. the stream off. Thanks everybody for watching. Nice right. job, guys. Thanks everyone. Good Thanks. Good round, guys. That was fun. Thanks for our callers. We couldn't do without you guys. All right.